Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew. Mm -hmm. And we are living up to that saying tonight. Mm -hmm. We have four exclusives tonight. Oh my god. It's a lot of exclusives in one show. That's so exciting. It is. And also, not even that, it might be a world first for one of them. Oh really? Yes. It's a very special game. But uh, we will get into that. Um, oh, cat cam is black. Oh, <laughs> it's not even Oops. in the right spot. That's what happens when you have... Uh, when your cat cam is your Zoom cam. <laughs> when your cat cam is a human cam. Yeah. Ah. What happened? Something fell? Yeah, that's okay. Ugh. Ah, nice lull to start it off with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, okay. The games we're going to be playing, as soon as I get my notes up, because uh, it's misbehaving, mm. uh, we're going to be playing Ethereum 2600, which may be the world's first NFT game. That's crazy. I looked and looked and looked and looked and could not find any other game that has been sold as an NFT. Wow. <laughs> um, and it's for the 2600. Um, so we'll see if anybody finds another game that, mm. uh, that was offered as an NFT. Not an in-game purchase, but an actual full, full game. game. Yeah. Mm, um, very cool. This is totally misbehaving. Um, the second exclusive game we have for the 7800 is a proof of concept for Mr. Do. And I know this is a wanted game for a lot of people, and people are very excited about this one. In addition to also Pengo proof of concept for the 7800. Mm -hmm. Do you know that one? Nope. You might recognize it when you see it. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, and also Kickman for the 7800 okay. as well. All okay. proof of concepts nice. coming from Daryl Genther, who did Popeye 7800. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which okay. is a masterpiece of a port. Oh, it's a great port. Absolute yeah. masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, a non-fungible token. Yeah. Crypto we will get thing. into all things crypto. Oh, are you going to give us a little um, a tutorial of crypto at the beginning of the show? Yeah, and I'm I learned excited. it all I'll today. Learn, so. I'll, learn, I'll learn more about it today. <laughs> That's so right. Everybody will learn all about uh, if you NFTs wanted, at least. If you didn't already know. That's yeah. right. Um, and also we're going to be playing the updated Ninja Sky Perilous Island. Oh, cool. Which now has a bunch of bosses and 60 screens. Wow, okay. For the 7800. So we're going to try and get through all 60 screens? We're going to try. <laughs> Other people have, so I think we can too. We can do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are to the uh, right of Tanya there. Bye, Atari. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 8 Bit Swami, Al Nafar, Armscar Coder, Atari, Age 06502, Bomberman, BR Poka, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Charles and Check, Charles Winners, Chai, Five, Coconut, Dinoid, Dar Dale, Andrew Darling, Dan, if you see Dr. Moo Cows, Emmy Dan, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gretem, Ground Trooper, Ice Posta, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Carl G. Croco, 2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, 1969, Mike Sol, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnwoop, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Nyan Dare, Pack Rat, Koag, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, mm -hmm. Repentless, BG, Ricardo, Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, or Esmer, The D Train, The Welshman, Tiggy Dan K, Timothy Lampier, Trek MD, and XK, Ken X, the. the biggest we've ever had so thank you what are we thank up to you. now uh, it's like 54 yeah oh, that's awesome and if you want to get thank on that you. list yeah you uh subscribe it's mm. free if you have amazon prime because mm. they own it's the same company they own it amazon owns uh twitch so yeah. there you go mm -hmm. some information if you didn't know mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you have amazon prime it's a little bonus that they give you that mm -hmm. most people probably don't know about um, and uh, you could just follow us on Twitch if you don't, uh, if you just like us and not love us enough to, <laughs> to subscribe, and you'll be alerted to when the broadcasts go out. Wow. Um, or you can just follow us on social media. Yeah. Uh, we do have a poll question, but it's later because it's related to the proof of concept games. Mm. Um, but first off, we have some mail. Mm. Mail, 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 mail. Let's open it up see what we have oh and we have lots of people in the chat who are steps miss nice. command crossbow yes cheers crossbow revenge mm. who is the author of ethereum mm. 2600 so mm -hmm. he's here to answer all of your nft and crypto questions <laughs> i'm sure or, that's what he signed up for yeah, yeah that's right 
Uh, Captain Classic Carl G. Ayas Sposta. Uh, Atari 2600 dude. Alan the Fur. Danny VC. Splendid Nut. Um, Ayas Sposta. Crossbow. Uh, MK Smith. Pack Rats. Smitty B. Um, uh, up to the top. I think we yeah, caught everyone. We got, uh, Excellent. A bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a game I ordered for off of eBay mm. from Japan and I didn't know about it until the oh, so I'll have to glue that down uh, till the other day okay and uh, it was a sequel Ooh. oh I'm gonna have to replace this these go sticky after oh a while. is it all sticky touch it touch it ew sticky Can I here. Some ASMR for you. yeah it's for the PC engine this is uh, a sequel to Bosconian. Oh, oh! There, this is the the second sequel, so third in the line. The second one looks not so much fun. Okay. Um, but this one looked awesome, so I immediately looked, looked on eBay, and it wasn't that bad for, of a price. It's final. Um, nope. Uh, final blaster. Why is that? Oh, so obscured. I cannot read that on the front. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, sticky guard. Final Blaster? Final Blaster. Yeah, look. The symbol's right on top of it. Oh, so. yeah. Final Blaster. Very nice. Yeah. And it looked really, really fun. And uh, it was uh, not unreasonable, unlike a lot of um, mm. PC Engine games, mm. especially shooters. Yeah. And there's so many good shooters on the PC Engine. Mm. There were sequels, and I found that out when we played Bosconian, and I did a bit of research. Yeah. And it was like, oh my god. There's sequels to Bosconian, <laughs> one of my favorite games. Yeah. How, how do I not know this? How do I not know this? Because they're because they're really different. They're not. Yeah. yeah. This one. Like almost spiritual sequels yeah. more than they are like like replay kind of yeah. Uh, PC Engine sequels. Sequels. is not region free. You have to get an adapter for the Hue cards. Mm, okay. And you have to get the right uh, CD as well. Mm. Um, but I have all those things. Um, adapters so the adapter so yeah. it does work Good so stuff. it's not region free um yeah that one stood out as a sequel because it had a it's a it's a vertical shooter mm. but you can back up a little bit and i've never seen that in like mm. like the whole screen backs up not just you you can go forward but then back up a you tiny can back bit. up and the screen backs up and you kind of can get away from things oh, a little bit easier and i'm like oh my god cool. i've never seen that mechanic in a game Maybe so. it exists, but it's the first time I've seen it. Yeah. That's pretty unusual for, for a shooter. It like is. a vertical shooter. Very, very unusual. Well, Xenon, Xenon, Xenon 2? Xenon 2. Well, there you go. Is that there, another one? There is another one that you can back up in. Mm -hmm. I have not played Xenon 2. Now, this is something I was expecting, because I was told it was coming. Um, coming from South America. Ooh. Ooh. Fluffy packing. It's very fluffy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta protect it's it. So thin and protect fluffy. Protect it well. Yep. And there's lots of layers. Ooh. Now this is a game I nice. believe we did an exclusive yeah. debut of on the show. Nice. Cave Rescue. Look at that. Oh, the packaging. By is ERA nice. Games. Yes, very nice packaging. And we'll do a tiny little unboxing here. Okay. We'll have to play it again it. too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Today's packed, so yeah, not today. We will but not yeah. be playing it today. Oh, it's got. See, we won't be undoing it today. We'll do it. We'll open it up um, when we play it. Okay. Look so at that, your uh, A Games Cave very, Rescue. Very, nice. Um, very, very nice. No, put it on the cat cam. Cat cam. Large cat cam. Boom. So you guys can see it. There you go. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to playing it again on the show. Um, so I'll schedule it soon. So look forward to that. Uh, is that a hollow sticker seal top and bottom? Not hollow. Uh, it is transparent. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Printed in Brazil. 2020 nice. ERA Games Homebrew. Nice. Conceived and designed by uh, Natan Vascalone. Vasconcelos. There we go. Vasconcelos. So we will do an unboxing mm. um, in the next couple shows for sure. Um, so excited mm. about that! Thank you so much for sending it. That's oh for the twenty six hundred. Mm. Sorry, 
Yes, for the 2600. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much to yeah. ERA Games and Nathan for sending that to me. That's awesome. Um, it was very, very nice. Of them. Yeah. 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 Um, and I just got word that we're going to be sent uh, Keijo as well. Oh, Chases cool. the Cheese. Oh, nice. In box. So I'm nice. very excited to play that again okay. as well and doing yep. that unboxing. Excellent. Uh, Meryl Muddy Thank, Thank you for you. subscribing. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, at least it's morning there. Some people are staying up till two or three tonight what? in Europe to see these. Uh, you guys are see these awesome. new games. Yeah. yeah, dedicated. Yeah. Um, also, we have a very special treat for the cats later on. Oh yeah. Which we will get to. We'll yes. see if it works. Okay. Oh, two fifteen a.m. Okay. So morning. <laughs> <laughs> Technically Late morning. Evening. Yes. Um, let's get right into it. The big debut of Ethereum 2600 by Revenge. Yeah. We're not going to start it yet because there's a lot to go over <laughs> to understand why this is special. And now for the information portion of the show. Mm -hmm. I'll try and get to the game as soon as possible. <laughs> but there's things to look at. Things to look at. And you yeah, can't cool. look at them while and playing play. the game. Yeah. Or it's a little too distracting. So this is the exclusive world premiere of this game. But not only that, this is possibly the first ever game released uh sold as an nft mm. or through nft um so let's take a look oh we're still in tiny mode <laughs> um so let's take a look at the game and the explanation of the game right now uh so let's transition over to that mm. uh ethereum 2600 um so there is the graphic for it um, and this is by uh, Mike Sarna, who's known as Revenge mm -hmm. on the Atari Age forums. Uh, he's done uh, games such as 21 Blue, Atari Vox Speak and Spell, mm -hmm. where, where actually, whenever you hear somebody um, subscribing or following, that was the Atari Vox Speak and Spell. <laughs> that's what was used. That's funny. Because that's the easiest way to get it to say something. It, it was great. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Um, Christmas Adventure, uh, Theorem 2600, A Little Miss It 2K and Miss mm -hmm. It, Naughty List, Serpentine, and Time Salvo, which is... <gasps> Time Salvo is so good. I love that game. Um, so this is a brand new game. Um, so let's take a look at what the game is about. Theorem 2600 is... New and original is a new and original uh, indie game for the classic 2600 console and the first entry in the planned 2600 crypto trilogy mm -hmm. of games. So there are more to come. Mm -hmm. It's also very likely the first NFT based game for any classic console. Um, wow. I searched for other games on the web and I couldn't find any game sold as an N NFT. NFT. Wow. There are um items in games sold as nfts wow. but not game wow um and we'll get into probably why that is mm. um and almost certainly the first 6502 cpu game distributed by blockchain mm. as such ethereum 2600 is a little piece of history mm. um you can find the ethereum 2600 nft over at the open sea and we'll get to that um is ethereum 2600 a collectible nft or a way to distribute indie games it's both Holding the NFT allows you to download the game, uh, a copy of the game, and have a cart produced, if that's your thing. But you can also speculate on the collectible value of this first classic console game NFT. Uh, uh, here, I'll give everybody a copy of the, the link so that they can take a look for it themselves. Uh, if gaming is your focus, purchase the NFT, download the game, and sell it again. With any luck, you might sell it for more than you purchased it for. What do I get for purchasing this NFT? The purchaser gets an individual copy of the game ROM and label art. You have the right to have a cartridge created from that ROM if you like. You may also transfer or sell your copy of the ROM or cartridge once. Hmm. Reselling the NFT does not remove your right to use the game, game ROM or cart. So you can still play you, it so afterwards. So you can buy the NFT, sell it create your cart, and then sell it. Yep. So and uh, so you can make or lose Feels money on it. A little bit like a pen pal scheme, you know. It's like I get it. Okay, now pass it. Oh, along. pass it on. Pass it on. Of course, you're paying for it. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting. Yeah it, yeah. it is a very interesting concept. Yeah. And it's, you know, the first of its kind. So people have to kind of wrap their head around it. Yeah. Why you would do this, and we'll get into what exactly NFTs are. Okay. In a second. Okay. 
Uh, how do I get this in play? Upon purchase of NFT at OpenSea, you'll be provided access to a page where you can download the game ROM and related materials. After the game ROM, you can play the game via uh, emulation, flash cartridge, rail cartridge, blah, blah, blah. Everybody here knows about that. Um, Ethereal, uh, Ethereum 2600 a game play. Uh, we'll get into that when we actually play the game, which is pretty soon. So what is an NFT? Uh, NFT stands for non-fungible token. And you're like, fungible? What the hell's fungible? Fungible is a funny term, yeah. Fungible. <laughs> let's see. Let's let's just define what fungible is. Before it doesn't mean no, no fun token. No, it, it can be fun. <laughs> uh, fungible means it's... It, fungible means it's interchangeable for something of equal valuable and it's indistinguishable Indistinguishable. like if you have this battery mm. and i give you another battery and take yours it doesn't matter it's a it's a battery mm. you, you can still use it as a battery still this yeah but this game is unique one of a kind the nft represents a specific thing so oh. it's Non-fungible means it's non-transferable. Okay. It's its its own thing. Not non-transferable, but mm. non-interchangeable. Mm. Yeah. So the yes, part. cash is fungible. Yeah. So a dollar is a dollar is a dollar. Yeah. You can still use it as a dollar here, a dollar there. It doesn't matter. People don't care. Oh, it's this special dollar. Or, yeah. oh, this is dollar number five. It doesn't matter it's if worth you get more the than... same serial number or a different serial number. No. I mean there are dollars that are worth more but in general yeah yeah <laughs> like i don't know a 1901 dollar or something right something like that it holds the same value yeah it all holds yeah. the same value but this is a specific <laughs> item fungible means it's about mushrooms fungible could be um <laughs> the fun so non-fungible means that the item is unique and it has a specific value attached to it mm. um nfts can be used to represent items such as photos, videos, audio, mm -hmm. and other types of digital files. In this case, it represents a video game, okay. a 2600 video game. Um, is the, and the next question is, is the game in the NFT? Is the NFT the game? And the answer is no. The <laughs> NFT is not the game. Mm -hmm. The NFT gives you kind of a license for the game. Mm -hmm. It represents the game. And it represents, say, a piece of paper for the deed to your house or yeah. the pink slip to your car. I don't know why it's pink. I think that's a U.S. thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the answer from a web page says, No, NFTs involving digital art generally do not store the file on the blockchain due to its size. Yeah. The token functions in a way more similar to the certificate of ownership with a web address pointing to the piece of art in question, mm. making the art still subject to link rot, which is a problem. Okay. So it contains a pointer to what, Ooh. where it is or the explanation of what it is, right? Yeah. Interesting. The NFT is a public ledger that shows ownership through time. So yes. It's, it's really like a piece of paper mm -hmm. that you can sell. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Revenge, Carl G says, uh, assuming there's an interest, another interested buyer. Yeah. If nobody wants it, it, a thing is only worth, you know, it like this, if all other copies of this were destroyed, this would probably go up in value. Yeah. This is one of X. So therefore it's worth whatever somebody wants to pay. Mm -hmm. If they're making more of these infinite amounts of cave rescue, which I'm, I think they are. Mm -hmm then it's worth the value they're selling it because you can just go to them and buy it. Yeah. And this is worth probably less because I've touched it or maybe more, <laughs> you know, who knows. <laughs> it might be worth more because we'll I've touched more. it. We'll go yeah. with more. We'll go with more. I'll, I'll <laughs> sign it. I'll, I'll deface it. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get worth. Atari to lick it and then it'll go up like little three paw times in price. Yeah. <laughs> little uh, print. If the web address goes bad, the NFT is invalid. In a way it would be, I suppose. <sighs> You wouldn't have access to what the NFT is pointing to. Yeah, because... You yeah. would still have ownership, technically, though. Yeah, you'd still own it, and you'd have to verify it yeah. somehow. That's like where it, that's where digital things fall apart a little bit, is, is this idea that if the data corrupts or disappears, then... Yeah. It would still be on archive.org, I of guess. It's like your house catching on fire, yeah. I suppose. But That's yeah. true. <laughs> How much is a house worth if it disappears? Yeah. Not much. Yeah. Um, well, the land, but not the house. <laughs> so, how do you make an NFT? Well, well, here's 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 the Wikipedia page for NFTs. If anybody wants, I'm sure that's not hard to find. There you go. Yeah. Um, Everyone's but, reading it as we speak. I'm that's sure. That's <laughs> right. So here's a page outlining a bunch of places that you can go to make NFTs. Mm. 
Um, there, there's a bunch. Uh, the one that this there's happens to be on sea. is yeah. OpenSea, but there's a bunch of other ones. And they all have different um, file limits. Mm. They would host the file. And then I'm guessing the NFT would point to their hosting of the file, mm. right? So, yes, susceptible to bit rot. Um, my other question would be, what if happened if it were snatched up early on a collectible that wanted to hold on to the NFT to very far, denying others the opportunity to get a copy of the game? And that has happened to even cartridges. Yeah. For the 2600, there have been rare cartridges. Nobody has a copy except one person. And they hoard Somebody it. bought it and hoard it and don't dump the ROM. No. Nope. And nobody's been able no to play been it. Able to and that happened it. with a game called Pink Panther. For a long oh, time, yeah, I think I remember until that. somebody actually bought it yeah. and dumped it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure, that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, if the address goes bad, NFT is valid. Important to make sure the NFT minter is going to stand behind the storage. Mm -hmm. As James said, you'd still have the rights, but you need to get the file some other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you'd mint it through one of these places. Yeah. You'd say, "Here's my file. Please make an NFT for me. Mm. Please hold my." thing yeah. my picture my game and the nft would point there mm -hmm. and the owner would go click click there's my thing and i can look at it if mm -hmm. it's a picture or download and play it at least this thing is useful mm -hmm. this is a game you can play a lot of nfts are art which i guess you can look at people appreciate art but... yeah i mean it's speculative more than anything else i i think yeah um... well we'll get to that and i think that depends on cost right and ha the next question I want, these are all questions that I wanted to know. So I'm sure everybody else wanted to know, how yeah. much does it cost to make an NFT? Yeah. It's not free. No, I actually. wouldn't think it would be. Most things aren't. I yeah. mean, if something is free, someone is getting something in that process. Yeah. So, yeah. so all these places charge. And from yeah. my research, I'm sure it varies a lot more than this, but mm -hmm. seven, $70 to $400, depending on the d demand at the time of the minting. Mm. So if things are under load, then it's going to cost more. Gotcha. Um, you could also be charged a monthly fee to sell NFTs on the platform in addition to making them. So mm -hmm. some of them uh, give you unlimited number that you can make for a price. Mm. Um, some charge monthly holding fees for just having them there until you sell them. It's all over the place. So you just have to do your own research. Yeah. Uh, birthday Mania. Yeah, there's another one. Mm. Um how do you verify an NFT? Yeah. So you bought it and you're like, did I, do I actually own this? Or is somebody selling 5,000 of these things? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just a sucker. Yeah. And they just keep reselling them. Um, each NFT can be traced back to the origin or creator. This is from a website because I couldn't summarize this. As the code of an NFT carries the form of its creator, giving the possibility to authenticate the token on any browser or platform. It is a decentralized verification method does not require any entity to host an NFT. So that indicates that you don't have to get it verified by OpenSea or Rarible mm -hmm. or Mintable. Um, this one it was minted through Ethereum mm -hmm. blockchain. So I am guessing that you can get it verified through the blockchain of Ethereum. Just like Bitcoins can be authenticated through the Bitcoin uh, blockchain as well hmm. just like because you have to verify the the string of numbers you have actually represents a bitcoin or five thousand other types of uh, uh, crypto um how do you sell an nft now that you own it <laughs> you can auction it off at a place like OpenSea. okay uh or even at christie's auction house really yes okay that's like the most expensive nft the, in the world sold at <sighs> Um, you can also, uh, when you set up the NFT, you can encrypt it so that the creator gets a percentage every time it sells, anywhere from 2.5 to 10%. So if you make something that you want a commission oh. on every time it sells. So every sale, you get a little bit of money. Yep. Hi. Just like movies. Yeah. Or books. Like somebody oh. can't just make a copy of a book or a copy of a movie hmm. that's still in copyright. Interesting. Um, they, you have to pay a licensing fee. So there's an opportunity. It's not built in, but you can make it so you get a percentage each time. Yeah. And that would be handled through wherever you That's kind of interesting. It. It I is. mean, if you know it's going to change hands a fair amount, and for something like a game, yeah. 
that makes a heck of a lot of sense because if people yes. want to get a hold of it and resell it and get a hold of it, make their cart, yep. there's a, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of an interesting platform for distributing a piece of art, something that's and original and digital. Because maybe game. it costs two hundred dollars to make to mint, yeah, and costs way more to make, yeah, of your time. You can sell it actually for less, and people can just go exchange it, exchange it, exchange it, and yeah. you're making money each time. Wow! So you could sell for fifty dollars, but if it sells again for fifty, 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 you keep making say ten percent each time, wow. five dollars each time. Uh, so it's a privatized copyright. Um, sort of. More like a public copyright, mm. almost, because it's all public. It's not centralized in one place, per se. Yeah. A certificate of authenticity. Um, so, let's take a look at the most expensive NFTs ever sold. And this will blow your mind. <laughs> um, the uh, most expensive will. one ever sold is called The First 5,000 Days, okay. made by Beeple. Um, and this one was sold at Christie's Auction House. Okay. Uh, purely, the first purely digital work of art ever offered by, by a major auction house. Okay. Um, it sold for $69 million, March 11th, 2021. So what is it? It's this. But it's, it's, it says the first 5,000 days. Is that what it was uh, called? I, I'm not sure. I the didn't, first 5,000 days. It, it looks look, like it's 5,000 photos. Yeah, it looks like it's made up of just 5,000 images of something. Randomness. Different, different pieces of art? That's what, yeah, different sizes of huh. art. I'm not sure. I mean, if you're the first, <laughs> then... It's going to hold some weight. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. 69 so, million, eh? Things, things are worth what people place the value the they place on them, on them. Yeah. yeah that's very true and the second most expensive one is this like literally they're these things like you can look at it you can download it you can store it on your own computer you don't own it like own it well you but own you it have a copy of it well no you own it no no i mean if you paid for it you own it but if no. you downloaded it you don't own it no if you if you own the nft then you own this but can you do anything you want with it? Could you make t-shirts with it? Uh, that's a separate thing. Okay. Maybe. If, it it, if it's written into the rights yeah. of the token? Exactly. Okay. Most of the time, no. I, I ask that question as well later. Okay. Later on, that's a question later. Later. Oh, I have the same question. Yes, I know. <laughs> but in general, no. I'm like, how can I use this to make money? Just like, when, <laughs> just like when you buy a movie, you don't own the movie. You own a copy of the movie to watch. And it has a certain license to it. But I guess it kind of depends on the token itself yep. and what rights that token have have associated to it. Yeah. 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 Um, Captain Classic said, NFTs make it much sense as sealed graded video games. <laughs> They're just a way to pump and dump or launder money gambling at its worst. <laughs> Captain Classic's not a fan. <laughs> um, it's, it's similar. I mean... The graded copy of that game is an individual mm. game, but there are X copies of that game, right? Yeah. All at different graded levels. And yeah. um, so you don't, you're not unique. You don't have a unique copy, but mm -hmm. some have, NFTs are not unique. Sometimes there's mm -hmm. 10 of them. Sometimes there's 100 of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Um, the NF how big is the NFT market? The NFT market value tripled in 2020, reaching more than 250 million. During the first quarter of 2021, the NFT sales exceeded two billion dollars. It's really big right now. A lot of speculators. How many Beanie Babies were sold in the late <laughs> 90s? It was billions. We watched a little documentary yeah. on that. It was. Yeah. They made the sales I, in the I'm, billions. I'm just making. I'm just making some <laughs> <An> observations. <laughs> some observations here, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's close that down. Um, so this happened three days ago. Oh, 1.3 million for a picture so, of a rock. Somebody paid 1.3 million. There's a picture of the rock. There's the picture of the rock. Um, so this is, is a special picture of the rock. It better be. Uh, the transaction marks the latest sale of Ether Rock, a brand of crypto collectible that's been around since 2017, making it one of the oldest, oldest, oldest NFTs. Around. I, I just feel like it's got some 
some fuzziness. <laughs> well, <laughs> the picture I saw didn't have the glowing eyes. <laughs> it's evolving. Oh my god. <laughs> Sold for 400 ether. <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe that's a different one. And everyone in this chat suddenly starts making NFTs. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I, just, I read that's some story insane. that some kid made $60,000 and he's like 12. I like, love just, that. Just making a little art and just I love selling that. it. I love that. Um, he pro- <laughs> inserts random stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, just remember, it's it's costly to actually make an NFT. Well, uh, not that costly. No. Where have NFTs been used in games before? Because we're talking about a video game here. So. Yeah. Uh, NFTs can be... Uh, this is a quote. NFTs can also be used to represent in-game assets, such as digital plots of land, which are controlled by the user instead of the game developer. Uh, NFTs allow assets to be traded on third-party market, uh, third-party marketplaces without permission from the game's developer. In February 2021, Axie Infinity recorded a sale of 1.5 million for digital land titles in a single sale. Hmm. So it's it's really really big. Um, but you the prices are a bit out of control. Yeah, I, you can't help but think the prices right now are speculative. I'm not saying that this couldn't be of value in the future, but it just seems yeah. ridiculous when you see this picture of a rock. Yeah. But I mean, I mean that's that's representative of something a little bit bigger, but still, it's like yeah, um, I. But I like the concept of it. Where I like the concept of it too. Yeah. It's it's a, the control of a of digi- that digital item. Like, and it's verifiable yeah. through independent blockchain, yeah. like on on the internet, yeah. through people who aren't aren't even knowing that they're verifying it. Yeah, and you just go, can you verify this? Yes, it's real. Okay, I'll buy it. Mm. Now you own it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. NFT book or NFS what podcast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, what is this? I think Scott Adam Dilbert made an NFT of Robert Comic with him saying the F word. Uh, sold it in oh, private wow. sale. The guy's trying to flip it for $21 million. He yeah. won't get it. Yeah. <laughs> My brain is melting. I know. It's just kind of it's, it's interesting. It's fairly new. It's, it's going to take a little bit for before it, it becomes out. accepted. Uh, and it's part of the uh, crypto revolution of unchaining yourself from everything. Well, from banks, from yeah. places that hold power. And it kind of more puts the power into your hands, mm-hmm. into nobody's hands and individuals' hands which as well. Which is good and bad, but which yes. Which is good and bad. Yeah. So you yeah. don't have the the authority of somebody saying, no, you can't do that. Yeah. No, you can't buy that. No, yeah. you can't trade that. Yeah. Um, so it, it's it's really, really interesting. And I've, I've just barely scratched mm. the surface and gotten into it and, and started to understand it. But I like the concept behind it. Yeah. I guess there's always that... Uh, that link or that um, tether to where it's stored, though, which is yeah, I'd have little, to look more into that whether it can be like yeah, I don't know separated like from a place that you're like, well, is it going to go under in a year? Is that place going to just yeah take all the money? Run? I mean, that's different. Or it's something physical, it's something digital, right? But um, thank you for following Ha zero zero three one two. So yeah. Um, before we get into, oh, let's, let's get into the price. We might as well do that now. Okay. Um, so <laughs> here is the auction, uh, for Ethereum 2600. Mm. You can bid right now. Mm. The sale ends in nine days. Um, it is tied to the price of Ethereum. Mm. Uh, so Ethereum, the cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency. Yeah. So that's what you have to purchase it in. Mm-hmm. So you have to convert get into crypto, to, crypt, uh, convert, convert whatever you have, yeah. your, your fiat money, whether it's U.S. dollars, Canadian dollars, yeah. whatever, into or or other Bitcoin or yeah. other Bitcoin yeah. into Ethereum and pay or bid uh, point one, oh, gotcha. which right now is three hundred and twenty six dollars and eighty three cents. But you will be the owner, the only owner of, of this, this video game. game. Yeah. Yes. Until you resell it. And, Until yeah. you resell it, and then you're not the owner anymore. Excuse me. Um, Ethereum 2600 is the first NFT distributed game for any client. Oh, we've already read that. Okay, so let's get into the game now. Uh, Crossbow, maybe I should offer my services as an, as an NFT. Each yeah. system presented as a piece of art. 
<laughs> That's right. You can put a little certificate on it yeah. and, and sell it. There yeah. you go. Um, okay. Let's get into the game. So we're playing the game that no one else has access to. Unless no they buy the NFT. Yes. I feel so at this, special. At, at this point. <laughs> at this point. At this point. Right. Okay. So he does have plans okay. afterwards for this game. We'll get into that some okay. more as well. Okay. Uh, actually, each system does have a semi-hidden sticker inside them with crossbow. my logo. <laughs> oh, you've given away your secrets. Yeah. Uh, now we're all going to be ripping apart your systems, Crossbow. <laughs> so let's switch this back. Oh, that's beautiful. What did you do? Oh, I knocked down the little shield for my webcam. But that's okay. The shield? Yeah. So you can put a shield on it. When what you don't want shield? the webcam open all the time. Remember it fell off? Oh. But earlier? And then I just knocked it down the back. Oh, you knocked it down the back? Yeah. Oh no. Oh well. Okay. I was like, yeah, and? and? Like <laughs> So who so cares about your shield? shield? I didn't realize it fell down the back. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> didn't you just hear it? I heard it fall, oh. but I didn't oh, know what okay. happened. That's why I was confused. I'm oh. like, what happened? Confused. I oh, know, I didn't see it. Okay, this. load it up, please. What am I loading? Here? Today's date and Ethereum. Okay, no, <laughs> the game. I'm We're just playing. waiting for you to tell me where it is. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. Very loud. Sorry, everyone. Very nice screen. So, this is a 16K game. Okay. Um, but it's actually 4K without the music and intro. Okay. Um, so beautiful little diamond uh, representing the what uh, Ethereum, the Ethereum symbol. But this is Ethereum for the 26. Very cool. So let's take a look at that. Press fire to start. Nice little scrolly thing. So shoot things. Don't run into things. Um, what? How do I shoot? Oh. With the button. Ah. Don't run into things. Uh, how 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 much shot does it? They, do they each take? A bunch. So you can stand there and keep shooting them. I, you can stand there and keep shooting them. Yes, you can. Hold the button, point at them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would have been useful to know. Well. Useful. Um, Ethereum 2600 is a corridor shooter, reminiscent of classic games like Targ or Crossfire. Each enemy takes multiple <laughs> shots of damage to destroy. Destroy 20 enemies and you'll finish the level. <laughs> Shoot. After each level, okay. you'll encounter a bonus round where you can try to collect four golden coins. What coins would those be? <laughs> Ethereum coins? Uh, to earn an extra life. Shields are down, Captain. Uh, I do not have the 2600 going through the Tink 5 now. I only have the 7800. It's doesn't play well with the 2600, but I just have not had time to play with it yet. Um, crossbow. I wish I did have time, but I've had these premieres I've had to do research for and I have to do graphics for each one and uh, love talking back and forth and real life. <laughs> Things like that. But I will get to it. Nice little title screen. Game looks good. Yeah, it's a really ah. fun game. Crossbow inside, TM. Ah, so, can't go down. <laughs> it so doesn't asked, wrap. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't wrap around. Uh, I was just curious because I thought the 5 tank helps with the scan line issues, but that other scalers have. Um, the 5X definitely, definitely helps with the line count issues. I have tried it on games that have scan line issues. It's totally perfect. Just breezes right through. Them. Unfortunately, it goes like this, just constantly on everything, uh, just left and right, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, but that, get them, get them, one, get an extra life, ah, ah, ah. get it. Oh. Yeah, there is um, a bug in the game. Is there? <laughs> so that you should definitely fix before disturbing it. Um, if you watch the coins, you only. Liter you only got three coins. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. And one disappears. Yes. When yes. you get the second coin, I think. Oh, I see. We'll have to do that again and show it. Similar to salvo, salvo controls. Yes. 
Okay, so I asked Mike a couple questions about his NFT, about NFT and his game. Are those gold co coins fungible or non-fungible? <laughs> hmm, considering... Uh, they're, they're probably... Uh, uh, fungible because they would be the coins and not the NFTs. If they're floating NFTs, then they'd be non-fungible. Um, I asked, when somebody buys the NFT for e Ethereum 2600, does it include the copyright of the game and or ability to, to sell copies? I'm sure that will come in the, up in the discussion, as you asked. Yeah. Um, uh, on the fact that people are used to buying a homebrew game for about $25 <laughs> uh, uh, on a cartridge or less digitally and might expect more if they're paying more. And he asked her, you get the right to personally use the ROM and create one cart if they like. Um, OpenSea didn't have a great way to specify this, like the terms field, but I'll update the page so it's clearer. Uh, what was the screen flash? Oh, I wasn't watching. There, there are a couple of blue screen flashes. Uh, Did it drop out? Uh, or just went flash? It went flat. I, it's hard to say. Okay. wasn't paying that much attention. If it dropped out, it would be gone for about five seconds. No, no, no. It wasn't gone oh, that okay. long. Um... Almost certainly the high sale value is going to make it look like a cash grab, but here's where I'm standing. The NFT can be resold, and your rights to play the ROM and cart are still retained. This amounts to the price being a temporary holding fee, assuming there are other buyers. You may even resell your individual copy of the ROM and or cart through more traditional means. Interesting. So you can sell your copy of the ROM. Is that... Can you keep the ROM after you sell it? Did you just collect three again? Yeah, this is the okay. third one. But four appear. So. Four appear, but then one kind of disappears almost instantaneously. Right. Okay. Big question, is it twin stick? Okay. Oh, you ran into the debris. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I hadn't done that yet. So. Yeah, I ran into debris. Uh, the NFT cost me about $120 US to mint. If I sold the NFT at 30%, my 2.5 of each resale would amount to 75% per sale. The buyers would get their $30 immediately back on resale, assuming there are buyers. Um, I fully intend to put the NFT greatly on sale after the initial auction, if nobody cares enough to hit the minimum bid. I also don't mind th that being discussed in the stream. I'm not really looking or expecting an Atari Ager to purchase. If the NFT eventually moves around and I never recoup my minting fees, it's all good. The market should have the last word on it. I admit all the above is very unconventional. It stems from the fact that each NFT is a unique object. So to do m things more conventional way with multiple copies for sale, I need to spend $120 to mint each one. So instead we have a cart NFT that's passed around with a small bit of re re resale going back to me. So he opted for the resale. Um, kickback for it. Oh, oh, oh it went off the screen. Oh, there's and a it went blue. It bit went of line blue. count issues. Yeah, I think. Ah, <laughs> stay away back. from the sides. No, because there was one and it kind of went off the screen. Oh. Ben ready. I know, I wasn't thinking. Um, so you have concerns about piracy of the ROM after it's been traded around a few times? Well, that's a good question. Carl G asked that, and I'm guessing not because. He is putting it up for a specific one-time price, right? Yeah. And once he sold it, that's the price that he wanted for it. Right? Oh. And he set a minimum bid. Um, my turn. Okay. Oh, 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 hi, Cass. And he set a minimum bid for it. Yeah. So that means he got what he wanted for it. Mm. So I wouldn't think that he would mind. I mean, he might. Oh my god. Uh, I know. You, I'll have to... Sometimes you're shooting in a direction and you end up moving. I think the blue was a line scan, scan line. Mm. That's usually what it is when that happens. Unless the game is meant. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Doing terrible. Big question is it twin stick? <laughs> uh, 
a Scanlan Count Blip. I saw what triggered it and we'll fix it. Oh, good. Oh, good, good. Good, good, good. And the coin thing he saw? I don't know if he, he commented on that. No. Um. Oh, my God. You can't stop in the middle. You can only stop at the cross. No, it's one stick. One stick. Uh... You can only stop at the cross beams. Yeah, I mean, as close to piracy will happen like every other cell. Yeah. Fix the glitch. Does that mean you have to mint a new NFT? <laughs> no, because it's not in the NFT. Not yet. Oh, no, no, because no. it's a link to it. It's a yeah, link to it. Yeah, that's true. So, as long as it's done before the person buying it downloads the copy. Yeah, you're okay. And even then, they can download a new copy. That's right? true. So, I mean, you're downloading the deed to it. But that is an interesting conundrum. Yeah. Like, what is the copy? Like, I guess once it's out of um, Here's a question. Can hands, you make something an NFT that hasn't actually been created yet? Um, In theory, I think you could. Because you could sell a deed to you a house. You could sell the rights right? to that something built. That, that actually doesn't exist yet. Could you? That would One that coin, doesn't seem quite right. Two. Two. Oh, see so yours? You have four. Three. Oh, I missed oh you missed it. Oh, my God. I didn't get an extra mm. life. So crowdfunding NFT. <laughs> hey! Oh, new bad cat. This cat was chewing the cord. This is favorite We're gonna cat time. chain. Cat chain. Cat chain. He was chewing ding, a cord. Ding, ding, Look at his mouth. He went. Mm, mm, mm. It was yummy. Was my... Oh god. <laughs> cord chewer. How would updated be distributed to those who had the token but don't have it any longer? That would be the problem. Oh. Because they wouldn't. They. Oh. Oh my! Cats made me do it. Yeah, I don't know if you can update it. Can I? I don't know. Does it lock? Does it? Does, does it would OpenC lock once you lock sell it? it? You wouldn't have access to it. Anymore. Do that. Interesting. Okay, your turn. You have stuff to talk. Yes. Um. So, um, Revenge posted about his game. Yeah. On two Reddit subreddits oh yeah 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 with two very different reactions <laughs> oh really one was very positive and one was very negative i i'm not surprised that there's a diversity of opinions on this stuff so and he posted it in the two different sides of what this what this game is, is. yeah one it's an nft yeah two it's a 2600 game oh funny so let's read about Cryptocurrent, where he posted in cryptocurrency first. It's back at it. <laughs> Bad cat. Shame that cat. Oh my god. I keep thinking it's going to disappear before I get there. The original location is the same. You're not locked out. Okay, so you can always download an updated version. So you can keep updating it then, I guess. Oh. Um, in addition to my crypto hobby, I've been pretty deep into hobby coding for old game consoles for a number of years. I've made games, programming languages, libraries, code profilers, FFT sound analyzers, all kinds of stuff that I wasn't uh, that wasn't possible during the commercial run of the console. Recently, I was thinking about how I might collide my two hobbies, hobby worlds. Well, I don't personally understand why people pay big bucks for meme art NFTs that the seller clearly doesn't own. I think the technology does open a lot of doors. Collectible art NFTs with rights attached do make sense to me. NFTs that allow access to concerts, games, etc. do make sense to me too. So I thought I'd try my hand to see if a hobby developers could use NFTs to distribute their games, and perhaps some buyers might see these as collectible. That isn't as weird as you might think, since limited release games on these old platforms do tend to be strongly collected. And they do. If, if an, an Atari 2600 game has like only 50 copies or 10 copies, they usually sell out completely, right away. Um, here's some info about my game. Uh, if you're not familiar with the 2600, please be kind with your comments. The 2600 is a game console that was born at the dawn of personal computing. <laughs> it has 128 bytes of RAM and no frame buffer. Yes, the game looks primitive. primitive. Each 2600 game is a minor miracle in squeezing out computational blood from stone. It's upside that a 2600 game succeeds or fails by mostly one metric. It's how engaging the experience is. Yes. 
That's exactly true. That's what Is makes retro games really awesome. Yes. Run! Um, I'm honestly not expecting anything real to come of this. The Venn diagram of retro gamers and crypto participants doesn't overlap a whole lot. Hell, maybe I'm the only one. Uh, nope. <laughs> It overlapped a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was one of the ideas where I'd be forever kicking myself if I didn't at least try. Uh, I'll take being known as the dumbass who failed to sell a 2600 game NFT rather than being certain I was the guy too scared to give it a shot. Anyway, I thought of you might be interested, some of you might be interested in this project. Others might uh, care to hear about NFTs used for something other than algorithmic kitties, rocks, and punks. If you've done something with NFTs that you think is unique, I'd love to hear about it too. Um, somebody said, is this the first NFT distributed game in existence? Um, and he, and uh, Mike answered, no idea. I guess probably not, but somebody else can chime in here. I'm pretty certain it's the first game for classic platform being distributed by NFT. Um, somebody else answered, second as far as I know, first for the 2600. Uh, but he didn't say which one. Yeah, that would be interesting. Like, someone obviously tried it. they know. I mean, there's tons of video games that use NFTs to trade, like tons, and there's a huge marketplace. But to sell an actual game, I, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Um, somebody said, "Oh my God, 2600! That's awesome! 128 bytes! Holy shit!" Uh, somebody said, "I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I like it." Um. That's okay, just keep up the enthusiasm. I love it. You're awesome for giving this a shot. Where can I get one? Very cool idea. This is awesome. Wow, nice work. It looks really great. Inspiring work, op. Um, this is the second, this is the same person that said above. No, it's a different person. It's the second time I've seen someone try to sell a game as an NFT. Of course, I didn't say which one. Uh, uh, I'm interested in doing it myself, curious if it sells. Um, it's just, it's very, very interesting. This is brilliant. I collected Atari games for a little, 2600 games, no, Atari games for a little bit. I always surprised people willing to pay 10 to $20 for more popular carts. They are now literally free on the App Store in most cases. Mm -hmm. um, blah, blah, blah. Um, also an interesting point that in television, Amico, will be using nfts to sell their games really? so if you buy a game from them i don't know if this only applies to the cartridges but i'm i'm, I'm guessing it does that the cartridge will contain the nft on it they haven't fully explained it yet but they have verified that they are selling games through nfts the cartridge that you wave around near it or insert it or whatever they're doing contains the NFT, it verifies that that it's real and allows you to download the game from their servers. And which also allows you to sell your game on the secondary market. So that they plan on using that and he said that they have a patent on whatever method they're using for NFTs. And I'm guessing it's costing them a lot less than $120. <laughs> to mint every single um, Amico game, that's for sure. I know the path of a, a overlapping obscure hobbies. Yeah. Uh, Revenge says, tip for Tanya. The different enemies target you differently. Yes, they do. You can tell. The spinning ones move right for you if they're in the same column. Yes. The twitchy feet ones move right for you if they're in the same row. Yeah. Oh, column versus row. Interesting. Ah. Interesting. Mike has done an amazing job for us devs in the 2600 and yeah. I arrived too late. Still don't get the NFT thing. <laughs> I think if if I explained it for like hours. Oh, 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 so close. You get an extra life if you do that. It's it's even if you think you know all about it, there's still so much more to learn because I still have no idea how an NFT is generated, like the back end, the computing part of it. Um, okay, so let's go to the reaction of people when he posted it on Atari 2600. <laughs> A very different reaction. A very different reaction. <laughs> 
No one gets the NFT thing, but there's an NFT for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so he's, he posted the same thing. Um, he cross posted it to Atari Twenty Six. Interesting. And the first reply, oh, uh, there was like twenty six upvotes on cryptocurrency, or whatever. He posted on the other one. This is zero. <laughs> It was actually in the negatives before. No way. Yeah. And That's the first so funny. first reply is nope. I can get them for free online, especially 2600. That's a terrible idea. Honestly, <laughs> fuck the whole concept of NFTs in general. Um, That's hilarious. Ajax says, I understand wanting things only for free. Hopefully, the de the devs can turn continue to serve you. Um, and then somebody replied, most of the devs for Atari 2600 games are retired or dead. <laughs> somebody is not really up on games. It has more games being released than ever The twenty six for the 2600. So it's uh, far from dead. <laughs> and the devs are far from dead either. More and more all the time. Mm -hmm. Somebody did reply, saying the 2600 community is alive and well, and actually new games are coming out every year. Um, but, uh, more crypto spam. <laughs> Somebody else said, <laughs> same as that, same as that irritating Atari coin that shows up in the sub every once in a while. Atari coin. Yeah, because Atari is getting into crypto. Oh, of course they are. Yeah. Some of us are just mostly dead. <laughs> it yeah. was pretty brutal, says Rebecca. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, pretty brutal. Uh, not so very good. funny. Um, so, on Twitter, um, Blue Swimmer replied to my Twitter post saying, I implore you to please reconsider prom promoting NFT games. Mm. NFTs have a very high carbon footprint that is unreasonable for the product that is produced. Well, it's not necessarily untrue. Yeah. Um, so I did a bit of research on that. Oh, okay. Um, it does have a very high carbon footprint in general, overall. Well, crypto does. Crypto. Crypto yeah. is not necessarily, you can mine crypto in different ways. Yes. The traditional way that has been used for a long time is Massive atrocious. It is, is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> um, so the University of Cambridge estimates a Bitcoin energy consumption at peak annualized rate is under 140 terawatt hours, uh, which is a lot. Mm. The world uses over 170,000 terawatt hours, uh, meaning the entire Bitcoin network at its peak energy consumption level uses less than 0.1% of the world's energy consumption. So every one out of a thousand pieces of energy watts, watt hours, I guess mm -hmm. one out of every, every one out of every one thousand watt hours being consumed is going to Bitcoin, which is not insubstantial. No. Um, but it does represent a, a fairly large amount of the world's not not fairly large. It, I don't know if it would represent that much of the world's wealth. I don't think so. I think it's quite small. Get it? Get that last one? Get a free life? So did you collect four that time? Or three? No. What happened was it, it was almost like... One disappeared one, at the same one, time. No, one materialized in front of the other. Does that make sense? Because it went mm. bing, bing, like I, two in a row, I think. Yeah, I how know. much do ATM banks use, etc. Yeah. yeah. Uh, minting coins, producing dollars... Um, Land the banking system? For, uh, really? in... Yeah. Uh, Cowboy Scott, thanks for enjoying the show. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to compare it against the banking system. Yeah. Because that's what it's trying to replace or to be in, in, in some, conjunction in, with. In some, yeah, respect. Um, so if you, but you'd have to multiply by a thousand. But there are crypt ways to produce crypto. Down, up or down. Yeah. Um, ways to produce crypto without using energy um i haven't looked into it i've heard ones that use up hard drive space um ones that use up different types of things um and also i found another article in cbc yeah 
Um, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, yeah. for those who are not Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> not the CDC. Not the CDC. <laughs> not Center for Disease often, Control. Often confused. Yeah. <laughs> um, earlier this year, Chinese authorities cracked down on Bitcoin mining due to apparent yes. environmental concerns yeah. and other issues. Order miners to shut down. And you remember where they moved? Uh, yeah, I know where they're trying to move to. Um, Alberta. Alberta. Which is the province slash state. Yeah. Um, Texas <laughs> next to North, us. as, as, Texas as North. we like to call it here. Because <laughs> their oil production is, you know, it's, it's disappearing. Oil's not worth much. So no. if you're if you're if you're gonna just not gonna destroy the climate with oil, let's destroy <laughs> it with massive Bitcoin mining <laughs> operations. That you, sounds wonderful. Yeah. Do you know how much they moved there? A lot. One third of the world's Bitcoin mining. Yeah. I didn't know that when I heard that. <laughs> no, it's huge. One third. Yeah. One million computers moved there. Yeah. That's that's how many. There's three I... three million Bitcoin computers. Oh yeah, that's insane. Not all crypto uses mining. That is no, very true. and that's very true too. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ethereum does right now, but it's on track to become proof of stake earlier next year. And I'm aware of another, we're aware of another one that uses proof of stake as yeah. well. Um, which also does not use yeah. any very little bandwidth. It, it does use a little bandwidth and electricity, but Tiny far bit. less than a normal um, Bitcoin mining operation. So. And, and it uses a tiny computer. Tiny computer. Yeah. Yeah. So. There's always a cost, but, but exactly what that cost is... is so it is a concern, Blue Swimmer. I understand, but there's ways to not make it a concern. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna plan out. What is this artificial scarcity? Um, um, I would give it away which one that we're interested in. <laughs> if, if we tell which scarcity it is. Mm. But it's a scarcity that- um, You're gonna give it away anyway if you keep giving hints. I, so. <laughs> I, I don't want it. No, that's fine. I always, you always talk about stuff that's like, someone will figure it out if they really <laughs> want to. I don't know. They might. I don't know. You almost want them to come at you. Revenge. Proof of stake note can be run on a Raspberry Pi really lightly in terms yes. of energy. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You can do that. Ah! 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 <laughs> run away! Oh, there's a very cute black and white cat in the cat can, just pointing oh, it out. It went blue when one of them went off the screen. Yes. When the spinner went off the screen. Yeah, the spinner goes off the screen and sometimes, like, randomly comes back, too. Oh, so, yeah, he just... Right at the very end, it'll randomly come back. Just pieced out. There he is. Yeah, they randomly come back. So. Oh, you know what it's doing? What? It's, like, not sensing the edge of the screen. You think? And it's just like, bye, and then it wrapped around. Oh, well, maybe. Something like that. Like, Interesting. Uh... Get give it, your, give it to me. Go get, go get your coins. Oh, I might get all four. Yay! Nice. And it actually got all four. Thank you, Smitty. Yes, look at that little white oh, chin. Oh, somebody's gonna have a chance to feed oh, those cats. Oh, yes, after this? Yep. Okay. So, what I've set up is treat time. Oh my god, I'm dying. Yeah, yeah. They corner me. Um, <laughs> they do corner me. So I've installed a piece of software um, that works in conjunction with OBS. Yeah. That people can trigger, people from the chat, or people um, can trigger treat time for the cats now. Yeah. <laughs> um, using, using bits. Using bits. Which yeah. are free. People have. People yeah, have you told get them me. for free just from watching things, right? Yeah. yeah. Ugh, God, it gets hard in these upper levels. So what do you think of the game? I think it's it's really great. fun. It's really fun. I really like it actually. I it's, mean, I, it's, we it's, love it's Time Salvo like, too, which is yes, very similar um, style yes. of game. Yeah. No, it's a nice game. It's 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 got a nice feel to it. It feels it, it's kind of a game you would play on your phone. Like it's a nice simple game, yeah, and it's it's got it's phone. kinetic. It's got it's got some energy oh. going, and yep, you have to dodge things. And yeah, characters it's really are nice. cute. Characters are cute. I like. It's got a good theme. Like I like the theme of the coins, collecting the coins. Yeah. They're crypto coins. Oh, it's sorry, channel coins. points, not bits. Bits aren't the same as channel points. Oh, it bits or it's, points? It's it's whatever. It's points. Points. It's channel points. Yeah. So they're free. Sorry, not bits. Bits. Bits you, pay you have to for, pay for. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get free. Bits. It's not turned on yet. It shouldn't be in there. No. Uh, no. It's it shouldn't even be there. 
because I didn't want people to trigger it early because we were ex explaining things. <laughs> so we can things. show how it works. Yeah, exactly. Ah. 9,000. Oh, you're doing really well. Better than I did. Oh, God. Into it. Nice. Just made 10,000. Oh, RC70. I just posted, got the sub from RC70, I think, the last oh. two streams ago or something like oh, that. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, yes. People, can you tell me how much everybody has? Bits to spend? Or bits. Or channel points. Why are people saying bits and channel points? It's over that, right? The bottom left. I don't know what it is. I think it's bits. Yeah, bits. It's bits. Yeah, people have tons of bits. Okay. So how much do you think we should make it so you guys can feed the cats? <laughs> I didn't know how much you guys had. I had it set at 2,000, but maybe I should put it at five because everybody's got ma <laughs> massive no, amounts. No, no, they, 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 they want to have an opportunity to trigger it, so. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. what do you guys massive think? Massive amounts. I start at two, but should you should it be bigger? Should it be five or two? Because I don't know. Two seems reasonable to me. Two is very reasonable. You start with two, and if if, if, if there's too much triggering of it, but. Well, look, Al Nefer can do it 50 times. <laughs> I that think that's be way too chubby, low. That would be one chubby, chubby cat. That's way, two is yeah, way too he, low. Yeah, but he, he might and have other, one person. he might have other streams he wants to use his bits on than us. He hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't. Okay. Look, uh, look, okay. The two cats are staring at me because I said treats. Oh, no. Like, look at them. Like, they know already. They know already. They're kind of off screen, but you can see both their bums in the cat cam. And they're staring at me. They know can you something is scroll up. it down? It's paused. Oh. People have been saying things and I haven't seen them. Bad. Have they? Well, it's... There we go. Oh, I, there now we go. I missed a bunch. Oh. I'll, I'll scroll it up here. Hold on. Um, so thank you so much. Very nice. Mike, Revenge, for letting us play this uh, really, really interesting concept yeah. um, for distributing a game. Um, and what do you guys think of, like, the distribution method like maybe it can be tweaked it's like you own the game or you buy the rights to sell the game or like it can be tweaked yeah you thank you for covering you did an amazing job well thank you then for that because i was concerned that i had no idea what nfts were mm -hmm. and i had to educate myself and i mean i didn't get too deep into it but um at least if you know more than me about nfts and if i said the right things then i'm happy mm -hmm. with it um, when the cats do too fat, raise the amount. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the gem things are called bits too. That costs money. Okay. The things that cost money. Yours but ours are... are called bits. So, oh. So ours are called bits. Oh, okay. that's, that's confusing. I kept them as bits because bits are digital things. You might want to so. change the name so people don't confuse the two things. I could things. call them treats. Cat treats. <laughs> 2,000 <laughs> <Yes>. treats. Yeah. <laughs> Today Maybe. I learned there's something called Ethereum. Yeah. <laughs> How fat do you want the cats yes, to be? Yeah, exactly. Make it 10,000. Yeah. No. Oh, that's too high. I'm no, going to make it five. I'm going to make it five, I think. Yeah. Um. So let me... Who protects the cats? Well, no, there, it's limited to the number of times you can give them treats, though. So you can only do it so many times per show, right? Are you setting it to one? Once per hour. Once per hour. So we have yeah. to know that we can only give so many treats during, during treat yeah, time. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. We so, don't want them to get too fat. Uh, no. We can't afford the vet bills. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yeah, kitties. Oh. That pixel cat loves that XCGS. Yes, you do. Yeah. You're okay. Right. You're right. So I'm going to make Retro it five. Cat. Yeah. And remember, only one person can trigger this. So be on the... Be on the ready <laughs> if you want to <laughs> you want to be the one to trigger it. Yeah. And I don't know if this works because you can't test it if you're not streaming oh funny so, so this is a as... bit of a this is a bit of a test too yeah eight uh, for eight bit yeah eight yeah. bits um okay so i think it's ready let me okay. transition over there exciting so let me uh i think it's all ready okay i think it's all... treat time yum 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 yum, yum. It's treat time. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> it's the built-in voice. Oh, it's treat time. Move it, move Crossbow it closer. Crossbow did it. Move, move it closer. Thank you. Thank you, Crossbow. Well, the cats thank you. Okay. So we're going to go to the cat cam. Yeah. There we go. It's treat time. Okay. You need to... 
this put is it right. how it works. Should I put it on the uh, yep. CGS? No, 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 not on <laughs> it. No. So, so, ring the bell. Ring the bell, Atari. Good Yay! kitty! <laughs> Good kitty! Did that scare the door out of anyone else? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's like cranked. <laughs> Let me just play it again. It's tree time. It's tree yum, time. yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> it's tree time. Yum, 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 yum. Andy Cat says, what the what? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing we do. Yeah. So we have Atari and Pixel. Yeah. Atari is the gray cat and Pixel is the black and white cat. Oh, of course, I rang the bell. So here we go. Bring it. Atari. Bring that bell. Bring the bell. Come on. Oh my God. Bring it. So next up, we are going to be, there we go, good kitty. Be, have the exclusive debut of the Proof of Concept games, Mr. Do, yeah. Pango, and Kickman for the Atari 7800 by Daryl Genther, who is Daryl 1970 on the Atari Age forums. Um, he's the guy who did uh, Popeye for the 7800, which is yes. a masterpiece really beautiful. of a yeah. port. Yeah. Does Atari always look uh, when talking about the console? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. We do say Atari a lot. Maybe he likes it. Um, so these builds are brand new. Um, he's also did uh, the game Cybermorph Unicycle Balloon Kicker, <laughs> which sounds familiar. And various hacks of 8-bit, 5200, and 2600 games. So we actually have a poll. He's done. No, no, he wants it. He's sniffing the air. There we go. Oh, good, good kitty. Good kitty. Yes, you're right. Pixel is very smart. Because <laughs> he just waits for the food. Atari, the moment we brought the bell out, Atari figured out, ring the bell, get the treat. Pixel immediately figured out, I don't have to do anything. Atari <laughs> rings the bell, I get a treat. And that pretty much... Uh, yeah, Pixel, yeah. we call him the foreman of the house. Whenever we're doing anything, he just sits in the corner and watches us So, he, <laughs> and provides his feedback. That's pretty much it. Good kitty. Yeah. So if somebody tries to do it now, does it allow them or does it give an error? Or does it like it's, just... It grays out, I think. It grays it out? That's what I've seen with other ones. Oh, it says... It's cool down. There you reward go. Reward is on cool down. We'll be back in one hour, 56 oh, minutes. It's supposed to be an hour though, isn't it? Uh, maybe I'll Not set it... Two. I'll set it to... Uh, every hour. Okay. Because that's because that would be the whole show. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not today, but yeah. Well, yeah. Are you not... gonna ring the bell? I'm not giving you treats. There you go. Every bell. hour. Because we don't want them to be fat. Ring the bell. Still available for me to click on. Okay. Yeah, I just tried it. And said no. One more. Good kitty. There you go. There's one for you. One okay, for so you. let's first do the poll which is about the three games. So which 7800 game would you, if I could type it right, uh, would you like Daryl to work on first? Boom. Uh, number one, Kickman. Number two, Mr. Do. Number three, Pengo. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. How to Apologies. destroy their ears. Um, you can vote for more than one. So if you want two of them. Um, and you can vote for more than one. Just put spaces, not commas, like it says, which is yeah. stupid that it gives that example. Yeah. Uh, I want to see the POCs first. Yeah, you can hold off, which is fine. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at um, Mr. Do first. So let's check out the arcade game of Mr. Do. Mm. So you get a reference point for what it looks like. Let's make sure this is going to blast your eardrums out. No, nope, no, it's not. So, Mr. Do is a 1982 maze game developed by Universal. It is the first arcade video game to be released as a conversion kit for other arcade machines. Taito published the conversion kit in Japan. This was inspired by Namco's Dig Dug. Imagine that. Oh, yeah. Released earlier in 1982. Mr. Do was a commercial success, selling 30,000 arcades units in the U.S., followed by several arcade sequels. Mr. Do's Castle. Oh, you're paused again. I don't know why. I keep scrolling it. There's 
Keep going. No, it's click in the click in the chat and press down. I don't know. Okay, so there it is. Um, you dig around. You have cherries. You have a ball you can throw. Um, there's enemies that you can throw the ball at. Um, there is a prize in the center, just like Dig Dug. So a little bit of heavy, heavy borrowing from Dig, Dig Dug. Dug. for sure, for sure. But he does have a ball, so that's different. That is, that <laughs> is of, nice. Instead okay. of the pump. But the ball goes all over the screen. Instead of the pump just going out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Nostalgic says, I've always struggled with this game. The enemies are f fast and smart. Yeah. But you have a ball. A, a, a weapon. Um, change the cartridge in the panel. Oh, thank you. Boom. Okay, so let's get to the POC of... Uh, almost said Dig Dug. Mr. Do. Mr. Do. <laughs> which also is, starts with a D. I don't think that's a coincidence that uh, they are doing that. Okay, let's switch over to the retro tank now. Which is good that it... Uh, Here we go. Ready for the debut. That's very the proof of concept for Mr. Do. Oh, wow. So, just so you know, it starts immediately, but you cannot die right now. Oh, in playing the game, you mean? A proof of concept means. Yeah. Um, for people who don't know, um, it's a way to make sure the game is feasible on the system. So you usually put in all the elements, um, oh. like say all the enemies, like the max number of enemies, you put a full board, you put in like all the basic elements. It doesn't have to function correctly. Yeah. Like I'm, nothing's killing me. I'm just running around. I'm yeah. digging. I'm you're doing the digging. You can get the cherries. Oh. You can kill the enemies, though. So he's done a bit more than that. But it... Neat. So the ball goes all over the place. It does respect the digging. And it looks amazing. Like, the apples look great. The cherry mm. cherries look great. The dirt looks great. The layout is great. And you can finish a level. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so cool. You can also push the apples. Yes, I noticed that. Yeah. So if you clear... Not up and down, but left and right. So if you clear out the dirt, you can push the apples over. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. So let's hear a bit about what he says about it. Um, so it's a bit all over the place because he goes back and forth through the story. But the way I'm going to present it is what, what he says about Mr. Do. Um, Due to the dirt digging being, a, being an issue, I didn't see Mr. Do as a viable project because I didn't have time to figure out the dirt. However, I wanted to see how many sprites I could push since I was using, using 8 pixel height zones. That works M Maria harder, but I thought it would be easier for the dirt routines. I figured if Maria couldn't handle the sprites, then why would I ever consider moving on to getting Do to dig right? Mm -hmm. You can see Maria couldn't handle it well. 7 to 29. 729. This is old versions of it. I'm just gotcha. showing the new version. The sprites overload and the game comes to a crawl. I'd given up hope for Mr. Do and I figured Pango was more realistic. So he switches over to Pango. But we'll get back to the story. Mr. Do. Uh, once I got Pango looking exciting to me, I got it wondering if Mr. Do would handle more sprites if I used 16 pixel zones. It was easier to convert than I had expected. I managed to plot a lot of sprites on the screen. I had to redraw a lot of tiles for the 16 pixel zones, but it was kind of inspiring. I made the apples able to be pushed, but I can't really drop them. Since the dirt doesn't erode right, I don't have a foundation on how to detect the ground beneath them. Likewise, without proper tunneling, I can't really add enemy logic to follow the paths. That would be a waste of time before I can figure out the dirt. I don't know when I'll have time to devote, devote it. I did decide to add a ball. It's quirky, but it works. Since I do not know the final dirt tile layouts, I can't really add full ball control, but it's not bad. It does kind of go through walls when it shouldn't. It does, yeah. But it does respect dug versus undug. Mm. From there, I decided to add some cheesy TIA sound effects. 
Then I made a rough tune. In its current state, I find it more enjoyable than the Coleco version and 2600 version. It's fun. Tanya's win winning. I know. I never win this. Look at all the points. Kicking ass. This does look really nice. Great graphics for 7800. Beautiful graphics. Uh, very cute and colorful. Moving the apples is an interesting mechanic. Yeah, I like the yeah. apples. They look really good. Um, so it doesn't look like Daryl's with us tonight, unfortunately, to answer any questions. Um, let's see if he talks more about... No, I don't think he talks more about Mr. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Do. I wanted to see what Mr. Do would look like in the 7800. This started out just as that. I also wanted to figure out how to make him dig properly. That is still an issue. It's still fun to see the likeness of Mr. Do on my 7800. Nice. I've been playing the arcade, Atari 8-bit, ColecoVision, horribly inaccurate, and the SNES version. Looks great. Poor enemy logic, bad collision. Mm. Just to see how they did things and overcame the limitations of various systems. It's interesting. Um, there are so many subtleties that I would feel need to be captured. I'm not even close to that. I originally started with 8 pixel height zones. La la la. We went through that. Um, I really thought the 8 pixel zones would be the key for making dig dirt, 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 dig properly. That is not an option, so I was going to chalk it up to no. Um, and then you got Pengo working and they went back to it. Getting the dig, a uh, dirt digging will be a huge undertaking. <laughs> this is kind of a foundation, literally, to everything else. The apples fall based on the dirt below them. The ball bounces off the dirt based on what tiles left, what angle. That's a challenge when the ball is bouncing between one 16 pixel tall tile. The enemies move based on the dirt that's in their path. Take that one step further and the enemies inherent the digging routine when they dig. It's quite daunting. So much logic will need to be happen, uh, need to be added. When I got a little excited to see Mr. Do come alive, I felt there's a long road ahead for that one. I almost think Mr. Do's castle would be easier, but I haven't even played around for the proof of concept for that. I decided to add, hopefully not too annoying, TIA music. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be more uh, make it feel more complete, which it yeah, does help. It does, it does. Rather than just, because even the ball has some sounds too. And there's also the reward in the middle that you can get. Yep. Get that cake. Um, the C64 version is very good. Uh, I seem to be enjoying the 160 modes because of the bigger sprites. For initial POC, this is great. Yeah, it has yeah. all the elements. It has the elements. They work. No dropping of the <laughs> apple. I think that's the only thing that's kind of missing. Yeah. I guess. Revenge says, uh, I like 160 mode too. A lot of people prefer 320. But I like all the sprites and colors that a 160 allows. So between the 320 and 160 is a trade-off. Okay. So 160 is lower resolution. Um, which I'm, I'm guessing this is at. He's just talking about 8 and 16 sprite sprite heights. Um, but you get more colors yeah. with the lower resolution. Mm. So it's a big trade-off because of video RAM. Yeah. You have X amount of video RAM, and you can get one more or one the other more. And it's like, well, which one's more important? Which has uh, more um, opportunity to make the game look better or operate better? Mm. I need to learn more about the 7800 graphics modes as well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I pick it up as we go. I imagine how this would sound with Pokey. Oh, yeah. The TIA music, while not complete, is pretty impressively in tune. It is. Yeah. It's fine. 160 can be surprisingly effective. Oh, Muddy Funster would know. Please see Meg's amazing games. This feels more like a prototype than a POC. Yes. Yeah, kind it does. It's It's got close. so much functionality. Yeah, very close. But... Like you said, he, the dirt is like holding everything back, which is weird because he can dig the dirt. Yes. And it stays dug. And but it, it doesn't. And it keeps track of what where he digs. But he doesn't know the logic for the monsters to understand the dirt or the ball to understand the dirt. Oh, I see. Oh, can you clear out those um, vertical dirt things right there vertical. to the right? Or the horizontal ones. Just dig up and down. Yeah, you can. You can dig through them and it remembers. Yeah. And get rid of everything. Oh, no. Not everything. Okay. Seems to work reasonably well for most things. Yep. Try and get rid of all of it. No. Keep going back. I know. Getting that up there. there you go. So it does. It, try and get rid of that one. Nope. Nope. Get it. Nope. 
Hop, try going from the bottom. From the bottom? Please go back and Where? dig it. No, dig out all these platforms. No, dig you it. can't. Look. No. Nope, you haven't nope. gone from the bottom yet. From the bottom? Up. Ah. I, sorry, I'm, Up. I'm not. I'm trying to go straight There up. we go. No, I've done this okay. many times already. It's okay. not going. It's not. So some of them disappear. Sometimes it does and sometimes okay. it doesn't. I'm not sure if it's relative to what's around it. Yeah. And what got done uh, out Yeah, because you went left and it didn't spear and then you went right and it did. So, I mean, he, he says he's still working on it. Okay. Pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Really, really good. Uh, 160 can be really good. Uh, it's pretty much equivalent to what the C64 can do, but with a bigger palette. It difficulty is drawing graphics where vertical lines are twice as thick as horizontal. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Oh, no, don't hand that nope, to me. You don't, no, okay. No, I played, all, <laughs> I played all these. They're just proof of concept. Fat pixels. Fat pixels. <laughs> Chunky pixels. <laughs> um, so we're going to move on to Pengo. 160 can be really good. It's pretty much equivalent to what the C64 can do, but with bigger palettes. The difficulty is drawing graphics where vertical lines are twice as thick as horizontal ones. Oh. So cute. Very cute. Pango. Oh, I didn't show the arcade. Oh. Please hold. <laughs> hold, please. <laughs> hold, please. You got a sneak preview of it. Uh, come on. There we go. So. Sega. Sega. That is probably one of the best campaigns ever done. Yes. It's agreed. very memorable. It's so memorable. Uh, so here is Pengo for the arcade and let me read a bit about that. A little too dark. Oh, for the game. Mm -hmm. We'll get back to that. Um, so Pengo is a 1982 arcade game developed by Corland and published by Sega uh, the player controls Pengo, a red penguin uh, that resides in Antarctica. The game takes place in an overhead maze of ice blocks where Pengo crushes blob-like snow bees. Snow bees? They kind of look like blobby penguins. They do look like penguins. <laughs> they jump around, though. They have no feet. By sliding blocks into them. Uh, the objective is to survive each round by eliminating all snow bees and snow bee eggs. Uh, while optionally lining up the three diamond blocks for a large bonus. Oh, ah. there's two of them. I don't know why it doesn't have any sound. It's probably in demo mode. Let's jump to the... Uh... Oh, yeah, because I wanted to show you the title. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there is no sound. Weird. Anyway, deal with it. Um, there are two versions of the arcade. What first uses popcorn as the theme. Popcorn. Your favorite song. <laughs> And the second one is original music. There are other small differences as well. The arcade game was considered a commercial flop at the time. Pengo was ported to the Atari 2600, which I totally forgot about, uh, Atari 5200, and Atari 8-bit family, and Sega Game Gear. So the only one was missed on the 7800. Oh! Yeah. Making up. Oh, people are still voting. Yep. It hasn't finished yet. Yep. Sunburn Penguin. Sunburn Penguin. He's red. Okay, so now we can get back to it. Boom. Boom. Are you happy? Boom. Oh, I gotta turn off that sound. This cat is so happy. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna be listening to the arcade game in the background. Pardon me? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Play. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do they, is this just a proof of concept? Yeah, they're all POCs. You okay. can't, you can do things. Move, you can break the ice blocks and push the ice blocks. Oh, you can push them. You, you hit them. Ah, gotcha. It's funny when I hand a game to you, you don't even try the button. You're just like, hmm? hmm? Scared. Scared. Scared to push the button. <laughs> um, Panko seemed like it would be easy. I still didn't want to get too deep because I tend to get behind in regular life. I made the snow bees reverse when they encounter an ice block. I also worked on Pengo's movement. Uh, VHSC, I love Pengo on Atari 8-bit mainly because I had it be, had to get a 1050, so I had to load it from tape, and it took less than the other games. Uh, 
So you can't kill the guys. I've tried to squish multiple ones. Oh no, yeah, you can't kill the guys. Oh, you can move them. Try mm -hmm. and squish, try and push them. I, I, yes, you can move them, but you can't, uh... Can't kill them. Can't kill them. Yeah. No. See, like, oh, I'll go with this guy here. Squish! Yeah. Um... Very cute little blobbies, though. I was feeling pretty positive about, uh... Oh, I figured Pengo was, uh, I'd given up hope for Mr. Dew. I figured Pengo was more realistic. Not that I have a lot of time to devote to these right now. I decided to make the ice blocks able to be pushed. Then I decided to make them crushable. Then I made Pengo animate while crushing. I was feeling pretty positive about Pengo. I see the, la the least issues with completing that, apart from time and music. It still has some glitchy things, especially towards the left wall. No big deal. It has to do with the coordinates at the left. Once Pengo started to look exciting to me, blah, 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 and then it goes on to Mr. Dew. Um... Pango again. Um, here we go. I think Pango would have the most chance of being completed first. I think it's the one that came to most naturally. I wanted to get Pango to navigate the ice maze. It was interesting since Pango has to complete a move to a square location before he can change directions. Mm. Uh, uh, just like Ethereum 2600. Like, you couldn't reverse until you got to the cross. Mm. And then you could turn around. Um, that's how the arcade works. Next, I wanted to get Pango to interact with the ice. That came pretty easily, but it took three months to find the time to mess around with it. Pretty good, even though I prefer the Atari 8-bit tune. Oh, these are all just holder tunes. Uh, there are a lot of things that need to be added. There are different board patterns. I also did find where... I have to decide where to randomly hide the snow bee eggs, as well as where to place the star cubes. They seem semi-random in the arcade. They appear in a variety of the same spots per ice arrangement. Lining up the star cubes will also say, take some time to rework it. Let's start over. Star cubes! Line up those star cubes. I, I just did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then you turned it. Oh. I was like, oh. It's recorded. It's okay. Um... It shouldn't be too hard to make the snow bees follow the board. I need to figure out when they switch to the mode where they crush the ice. I guess the question is figure out when and where why they do that. Also, how long do they stay in dig mode? In watching the arcade, I haven't identified a definite indicator. I think once he starts working on one of these and announces them and makes a thread, there's going to be all the pengo export, uh, experts, uh, experts come out of the yeah. woodwork and go, Oh no, that's not how pengo moves and... Oh, no, there's five guys on this level instead of four. Yeah. Another solid prototype, Muddy Funster says. Hey, VHZC. Um, just in time for your game soon. Da, da, da. Uh, I think Pango needs the least amount of cleanup. Of course, Pokey Sound would be preferred, but TIA could be an option. That opens another can of worms on cart space. I kind of wondered if a nice 48k would feel like a true release that would have, we would have got back in the day. Is it worth a bigger cart of all the tracked mode animation? Is two-player necessary? Two-player simultaneous. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always add a bit more if you can. Um, and I think that is all the notes I have for Pango. Are you satisfied? Yeah, with the Pango? it's super cute. It's... So, oh, the left-hand side is messy. Oh my god, get back on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Woo! I've escaped my bounds. <laughs> hey, another... An oh! More star cube showed up when I did that. Is it a real one? Can you push it over? Oh, it is. Oh, you're hacking the matrix. <laughs> oh, it's not a real one. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> push one out. Try and push that cube off the screen. That's so funny. Oh, uh oh. Oh, you he died off. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, it's on the side now. Oh my god. <laughs> that is hilarious. Nostalgia two player simultaneous would be quite an exercise in teamwork. Or in the players trying to squish each other. Yeah, yes. I think that would be hilarious. Yes, agreed. So your opponent would be treated as an enemy. Like he could be squished. It's on the other side. Oh look, my god. Look. Can you get through if you keep going to the other side? I don't know where I went. Where am I? I'm gone. Oh, I'm gone. Oh no. I've left the screen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm back. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> okay. 
Ready? Oh, I put him on. <laughs> oh my god, okay. he's trapped outside. That, that was too much fun. Okay. Very, very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Definitely gonna be. So we're gonna take a look at Kickman. Okay. Next. Let's see, that's a lot of collision checks. Uh, yeah, it <laughs> is. Yosemite Hedrick could go a little confused if that amount of collision is not handled correctly. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Gotta turn it on too early. Too early? Cartridge wasn't ready yet. So this, this one's pretty early Okay. in the proof of concept. Okay. Um, have you played this game before? You pop the balloons. Oh, I didn't show the arcade. Is this the bounce? No, this is the bouncing one. I forgot to show the arcade. <laughs> We're going to show the arcade first. <laughs> After I gave you a sneak preview. Um, okay, arcade of Kickman is here. I think this one has sound. So, you're the clown at the bottom. No, I don't like clown games. I definitely <laughs> don't like it. clown games. I, I <laughs> no clown games. <laughs> I no would remember what. it if I had played it before. So you pop the balloons on your head. Uh, on your hat. On your pointy hat. Yep. Um, so let me read about um, Kick Man, which was also called Kick in the arcade. Just Kick. Um is an action a video game where the player controls a clown on a unicycle catching falling balloons okay. and Pac-Man characters on the clown's hat. There. It was released in arcades by Midway in 1981. The game was re later renamed to Kickman, sometimes written as Kick-Man. Commodore published a Commodore 64 port in 1982 without the space in the title as Kickman. And I believe the Commodore was one of the only official releases of really? this game. What is this? Isn't the Commodore version? Is it's it? the arcade. Okay. So let me look that what up. What does the again. Commodore ver version look like? Was this on Satan's Hollow Hardware? Hmm. Mm. It's been. got that that font. It does. does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was only released in the arcade and the Commodore 64. Wow. Which is really bizarre. Did Midway put out? Um, I like the Satan follow the flattened clown at the bottom. <laughs> You're like, yes, yeah. <laughs> get that clown. Uh, it doesn't have anything talking about Satan's Hollow, but usually no. Wikipedia doesn't care about that kind of stuff. Um, Not as much. So yeah, you you collect the balloons on your head. As many as you can. As many as you can. Then he pops them. Oh, he physically pops. Clown them. guy in balloon falling world. Thank you, VHZ. Yep. <laughs> that's that's VHZ Vladimir's uh, version of it. Pop pop. <laughs> and then bombs come out from the side. Um, there was a prototype oh, of this game discovered for the 2600. Neat. And uh, I it's like how actually it not bad. Excuse me. Every round has is slightly different. Yep. Dodge the bombs. Dodge mm. the bombs. Catch the balloons. <laughs> bombs. What kind of city are you living in? <laughs> it's with not clowns a good city. on unicycles and people throwing bombs at you. Yeah, not a really safe city. Okay. Wow. It's not bad. Let's take a look at uh, what Daryl has done. I have to wonder what Namco felt about Pac-Man having a cameo in this. Yeah. Mm. Obviously not. They may not have known because. <laughs> so. So this is just the proof of concept. Oh, it bounces um, around. You can pop the balloons. Ah. You can't stack the balloons, but you can pop them. Ah. And the button kicks them. Oh if goodness. you miss them by a bit, you press the button to kick out your legs and that'll kick up the balloon up again so that uh, you have a second chance of getting it. Neat. Ah. And then there's more balloons. So let's see what he writes about this. Neat. It is, it's a cute game. It looks good. And uh, it does get ch very challenging, especially when the bombs start getting thrown mm. and you have to stack up the balloons so you have less time mm. to get under them. Um, so... Let's see. Oh, 
My overall uh, plan is to chip away and see which ones are progressing first. Pango seems to be the one, but I keep getting caught up in Mr. Do. I thought Kickman control might feel a little weird when you first play, so I wanted to try and explain the trackball simulation. Not perfect. Knowing how the arcade was, uh, best played may help you or Tanya when you try it. So this was originally with a trackball. So you go zoo 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 zoo. Goodness. I can see that. Um, the clown was out of control and fast, but the kick button would stop the clown to line up with the balloons. It would spin like crazy to get a fast balloon on the other side of the screen. When I got lined up, I would press kick. Stopping the trackball wasn't enough. It was heavy. Um, here's some insider... Nope, none of that. Uh, insight to where I'm at. I hope this helps. I added some cheesy TIA placeholder music to Kickman. Uh, all the music sound effects are placeholders. I hope it's not too distracting. Oh, you're mad? You're mad because you can't scratch the couch? Also, reset should work in all games since there isn't much to clear. Kickman was the first proof of concept. I figure it's simple and fun. Mm -hmm. The only official release was for the C64. The gameplay and physics are way off on that version. Few people seem to notice because it wasn't a popular arcade title. It sticks out to me because it's the only arcade I ever played until the to kill screen. Wow. Wow. So he, like, he, destroyed he, the arcade. This was, this was the arcade machine he for had. Games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, did I get yelled at for being late at that night. <laughs> uh, Robert Yeager, Montezuma's Revenge, wrote Pinhead for the Atari 8-bit computers. Although there is no background scenery, the gameplay is actually the closest conversion to the arcade. And I did play that for a bit. And the collision detection is brutal. You have to be perfect on that version. It's not an official game, so it's not, like, officially released. Um, at least the physics, collision, enemy variety, and inclusion of the bonus rounds are included. It was adapted to joystick, which makes that part a little different. Controls worked well, though. The arcade game was a trackball, horizontal spin only. Weird. Which makes my main box play weird if I don't spin it exactly horizontally. The thing about a trackball is... That slow movement is for precision. For speed, one can spin the ball like crazy, and palm moving the ball will stop it. That's not always a perfect stop due to the heavy ball. The inertia is a big part of the control. The best way to get a balloon across the screen was to spin the ball like crazy. Pressing the kick button will stop the clown in his tracks, so that is the key to stopping the clown before the ball fully stops. It was pressing the kick button while palm muting the ball. For the 7800, I would like to look into including track ball control. Paddles are not even close to trackball, so that would not be considered. Paddles are paddles set our absolute position, and the inertia is control part of the game. That would be awesome to get another trackball game, especially for the 7800. Uh, for the joystick, I tried to emulate the inertia. Tapping the stick, the stick will give small, precise movement. Once the stick is held, it takes for a minute for the clown to come to a stop. So, can you feel the inertia in the game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay. Um. This is where pressing the kick, beat, kick button is a key, just like the arcade. It may take a minute to get used to, but it becomes natural. Still, even once the control is perfected, I need to stack the balloons on the clown's head, which mm, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do. It doesn't do, yet. and there's no Pac-Man or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, the falling balloons are supposed to collide with the stacked balloons, unlike the C64 version. Mm. This is key to trapping and, and catching them when two are being juggled. Currently my demo, another balloon falls when one is kicked. Maximum of two. This is not exactly how the arcade behaves. In the arcade, this also doesn't happen until later levels, but kicking the balloon will not keep dropping new balloons. In the arcade, kicking the balloon will cause a second one to fall on higher levels. Someone was just saying the sound is quite high of the cycling. Move around. It's... Sure. Sound is so subjective to our ears. Yeah. Because I look at the levels, it's like, oh, it's fine. But it's but it's a piercing sound. So it is a piercing sound. So it's sound. perceived by your ears as, as a louder sound. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, once all that is in place, there are Pac-Man and monsters to add to the mix. The Pac-Man go back to the original rack if they're kicked. Oh, there are a lot of complexities that this proof of concept doesn't consider. However, it does show that the entire two palette map can be plotted. Mm. And that's the whole point of the proof of concept is that you do a full screen of everything that possibly could happen and go, it works. It all fits. It doesn't have slowdown. Mm. Everything is 
from here is easier to do. Um, everything else on screen is a sprite. I tried 160B backgrounds and the gameplay to, slow to a crawl. It was like Supercross 3D for the Jaguar. I dig it. That game, I guess. <laughs> I've not played that game. Uh, the balloons are counted down in hex digits. Yeah, like it is. Every good game should do. <laughs> <laughs> All in hex. Last balloon. I'm on you. Oh, and there's your lives as well. Yay! Okay. It just keeps going. It's just the same level over yep. and over. Okay. I play, play it. some? No, I play it. Okay. I play all these games. I wanna, I wanna grab a drink. Okay. Is that okay? You what play, are you drinking? Play a little bit. Well, I, I'm having what a beer, but uh, I, that was me, my only beer, so. Oh, tell the people what you're drinking. I'm, dr well, I'm drinking a cranberry. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Some, sometimes they ask. So, hex like in Hellway. Yes, that's true. So there are the three exclusive proof of concept games from Daryl Genther, Daryl1970. So let's take a look at the poll and see what you guys would like him to work on first. Um, doesn't mean he's going to work on it, but it does uh, mean that you guys want him to work on it. So let's take a look in oh the poll's still open if you have not voted um uh, i'll give you a chance before we announce the final numbers uh just type one two or three and if you want two if you like two of them you can type in one space two or two space three or one space three there's all the combinations um so uh oh some people are still voting good i'll let you uh do that so he says it looks like Pengo might go ahead first because he's gotten the furthest with it and it has the least amount of complications for him to finish. Um, the, di the dirt is providing a little bit of problems for him uh, in Mr. Do. And um, Kickman looks pretty good. Looks like it's pretty far ahead um, from what I can, from what I can see. It's all about the stacking, and he said there's a little bit of issues with the stacking, but... Hmm. And up next, we're going to be playing Ninja Sky in Perilous Island. Ninja Sky, Perilous Island. I don't know if there's a colon there or not. By Vladimir Zuniga, who is in the chat tonight. So if you have any questions for him about his game, um, you can let him know that. And... Um, Actually, a little piece of trivia. Digging in the archives, Daryl took a stab at making Kickman for the 2600. Almost exactly five years ago today, he, uh, he posted about it. It was a very early proof of concept where the balloons kept dropping forever, and I think there was only four across? Or maybe there was six across he had got going? Okay, so we got the last votes in. Let's take a look uh, in third place they people would like kickman to be worked on in second place mr do that's a surprise i thought people were going to go for mr do because when i was posting in on facebook uh the most reaction i got from it was from mr do but in first place by quite a margin at 54.5 percent huh? people want pango to be oh done. it looks so good it does and luckily that aligns yeah. with what Daryl says that Pengo is further ahead oh. uh, and he's able to get it done easier because of the dirt issues in oh, Mr. Do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's great. So I'm sure it would be happy to know that people have really won Pengo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Pengo is pretty, pretty awesome. Is it me or is tonight show tonight is in a rush? No, not oh, really. No. There's Just a lot, a lot to, to cover though. <laughs> it's already been two hours and we're not even close to being done. <laughs> It's just a lot, yeah. a lot of things happening. And yeah. and the, the proof of concepts are are what they are. Yeah, they're not full games in a way. There's yeah. nothing to really play on them. Mm. You show off what's done and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it feels like a rush, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the cats can be fed yet. Are they back to... Let's see. Oh, actually, I... What? All rewards are claimed for this stream? Check again the next stream? Oh, I might have put a limit of one. Did you? I can fix that. I can fix that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What limit? Oh, it seemed to limit Redemptions per stream. Limit redemptions per user per stream. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. 
Let's just go 99. Or zero. What? There we go. It should be working. But it should work for every hour. Oh, oh 19 minutes, minutes left. There Excellent. we go. So okay. now it's working. Okay, and look who just came back. Oh. As if he knew that he would be, he, that he would be able to do 19 minutes. 19 minutes. At least it tells you how long, how much longer it is. <laughs> you can't see him, but there's a pixel right here. Oh. He's no, kind of hiding. Can't. You can see him better in the uh, in the other shot because yeah. he's not being blocked by chat. We'll switch that to that right now because oh. we're gonna go to Vladimir Zuniga's update Yay! on his amazing game. Oh, where am I? There it is. Ninja Sky. Oh, I think I loaded it too quick. <laughs> Keep pressing it too quick. There we go. Watch out. You got a cat. Squish. Squish that cat. Squish that cat. Oh. You know that meme? <laughs> the doc, the vet, actually is from here in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Ninja Sky Parish, Perilous Island, VH said C Games. Jail bars. Jail bars. Jail bars? Yeah, there are jail bars, actually. Those are those vertical bars there. That you can see, uh, so you can see the best oh, in his I pants. Oh, I see. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, I haven't really played around with the retro tank too much to uh, to get rid of those. Hey. Yeah, they're definitely jail bars. Oh no, squish cat! <laughs> <laughs> Swoosh. <laughs> it was really cool. I was playing it the other night after putting heat sinks on the main ICs in my seventy eight hundred. Nice jail bars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, go for it. Play that game. Squish that cat. <laughs> Maybe it's a setting. I don't think it is a setting. Let me see. I don't. I've got it set to jail bars. Oh, no. I missed, missed it. Set it to a really cool one. PBM. Makes it look like all dots. Looks like an old CRT. Yep. That's what it is. Off. There we go. <sighs> oh! Smush. You got smushed? There's a heart <gasps> oh. there. Another smush. There's a heart there. Remember that heart? Yep. I don't know how to get up there, though. Try adjusting the L low pass filter modes. Oh, okay. Let's see. You have to go to the other screen. Oh, Your to jump over. screen. Oh, do you? Oh, well. I will probably die and not get that far anyway, so. Oh, is it? Sampling interpolation scan line. Ah! Okay, cannot smush the fishes. Oh, there it is. No, that just makes it worse. Oh, bounced. Oh. It doesn't make it significantly better, so <laughs> I am not going to mess with it right now. Hi. The heart is a trap. Ah. Probably lose more lives getting it than I'd gain picking up. Yeah, the uh, the graphics are are amazing as per usual with VHZC. Did you find a treat there? What are you eating? Probably fluff. Yeah, he is a fluff eater. Ah! Like how he splats in midair. I know. <laughs> he splats on a on a flat surface in midair. What is interesting, we're seeing the same jail bars in the TMS RGB on the ColecoVision through a Tink 5 as well. Exact same as what we're being shown here. Interesting. So you're saying it might actually be the retro Tink that's making these jail bars. Possibly. Because I don't remember ever seeing those on the Framemeister. 
I haven't done any of my tests, so. <laughs> so I, into the water. So I can't say. Squish. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Oh, you'll water. get a lot further than I will. So I'll give you the notes. A lot of shimmering on the background plants. Mm. Classic V. It's kind of annoying. Death tone. Yep. It looks in place so well. Yep. Love the death, death screen too. So if you could read those out. Okay. The August 4th updates. Not, not the bottom part. Okay. August 4th update. Demo 2. 35 screens. 2 mid-bosses. Cosmetic changes. Color corrections. Uh, thanks to at Trevor for some hints. Only tested on a 7800, so some bugs expected. August 12th update, demo 3, 43 screens, 3 mid-bosses, cosmetic changes, some sounds added. August 23rd update, 60 screens, 4 mid-bosses, cosmetic changes. And that's the one we're playing. That's what we're playing today. And screwed it almost all the way. Nice. Little flowers. Now, did was there a... Oh, God. Forgot about that. No, he has, has to kind of pass first. Jesus. Now, did we make it to a boss? We did last time and defeated mm -hmm. the boss. We mm -hmm. did finish it, right? Mm -hmm. You did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we collected the royal we. You, you did. <laughs> I haven't played this as nearly as much as James has, so... It is so cool, though. It looks so good. Yeah. So yeah, I I I, I do see things. the shimmering. Yeah. The shimmering? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I assume that's. Oh the... my God, that's a new guy. Is he? He's changed uh, to a tomato. He used to be some random thing. Killer tomato. Some just dude, little bear or something. Looked like a bear. Mm -hmm. Killer tomato. Super cute. Um, there is also a shimmer in the background of the plants. Uh, you don't have composite plugged in also to the Tink 5, Tink 5 of the 7800, do you? Uh, yeah. no, the composite is plugged in. Oh, that might. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, a hot island. <laughs> Shimmering lines. Heat waves on the bottom plants. Is that better? That looks better, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a terrible Something's cable. very sensitive there. Some uh, cat must have been chewing. I'm going to blame the cable. Yeah. Because that is... It uh, is better. Yeah. Global warming and such. Yeah. It's it's global warming. Yeah. It's mostly it's... global warming. That is better. Oh. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, boss time. What? This is different. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I remember you this. You hit it. Oh, oh is this? Oh, you have to do the other side. <gasps> ah, ah. You remember it. I don't remember this. No. <gasps> nice. You have to do each side. Wow, yeah. that's that's a challenge. It is. Ah, oh, shoot. Nice. I hope it's not too many hits. This is quite a task. Oh, he bounces back, too, when you hit him. Oh, nice. At least he's big. Yeah, he takes up a lot of room. Wow, look at him. He's great. He's like a fat fly. Damn it. Big, fat, buzzy fly. Mm. Oh, God. Nightmarish. This is nightmarish. Ah! Oh, my God. Down to one. It's man pig oh. bear. <laughs> oh my god. One other. Go. Man bear pig. There you go. Wasp. Is it, it is a wasp? It is a wasp. It kind of looks because it's, got a, it's it? got a stinger. So uh, that's what it kind of looks like. It's a little cleaner. I have to look at my uh, S video cable, obviously. So that is. It was cutting out just by touching it. It was going black and white. It should not be doing that. You take the hard way. I don't find that well, good. I guess it's, it's pretty not. easy. Easy for me. Mothra has been mentioned. <laughs> Mothra. 
Ah. Oh, you got an extra life. Good. Oh, yeah. I need it. It is an avispa. Avispa. Is that wasp? What's avispa? I think it's a... I see a made up. What is it? Avispa. Let's see. Is that a made up name or is that uh, in another is language? That a translation? <laughs> Maybe it's a type of wasp? <laughs> we will find it about one second. Ah! Avispa en inglés. That's what the first thing that comes up. Uh, a bee or wasp. What? A vespa crabo. Vespa crabo. Wasp. Ah. Why am I looking at that? I should be looking at translation of a vespa. A vespa wasp. It's a wasp. <laughs> Why is it being so much trouble? A vespa in English. A wasp. Yes, yeah, just a wasp. Straight up. Ah, wasp. Uh, you can duck too, like in the 2600. Oh, thank you, Crossbow. Oh my god, that would help. I totally forgot about the ducking. Yes. I was just getting my head bashed in by the wasp. Oof. What I do is fall down. I know, I know. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm right after the first one ah! goes away. <laughs> Spike balls, ah! the hallmark of Vlad. <laughs> oh, oh, see, I'm trying to time God. it. I'm just doing it so know. poorly. <laughs> no, it's fine there. Squish him. Squish, squish, squish. Squish that ninja. Oh, I love that jumping tomato. Oh, good luck. Against the avispa. Oh, you got him. Nice. Remember, you can duck. Ah, run. <laughs> oh, oh duck. no. Oh. Oh, I only had two lives, so it's I'm the, missing. He's the bouncing DVD spice. logo. Why does it have to be spice? <laughs> I love right. that down peril helicopter at the beginning. Yeah. This is a just continuity. Third in continuity. a trilogy so far. So good. Of um, oh, I love it. Ninja guy, and then peril, and then Ninja guy perilous island because it's part of peril. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the big plan. So the slightly muted colors is that your seventy eight hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll be better eventually <laughs> it just needs tweaking i guess yeah i haven't opened the 7800 yet mm. um to look at it um it's pretty good though it's just really muted i don't know mm. if i can turn it up a bit that one tricks you if you don't watch it mm. he stands there yeah my head ah my head ah your background shows up better than it does on mine mm, interesting you mean I, like the little trees in the background there? Like they're quite they're quite subtle. Well, I nice. have to confess, I have tweaked it in OBS. Mm. So you can see it over there. What you're seeing is not what we're seeing. Mm. I've I played around with it so it looks more like the uh, you brightened emu it emulator okay. version. Because the version we're seeing is a little bit more muted than Very I think muted. what is being broadcast. So. Yeah, I didn't like the look of it. Yeah. So. You got that time to blow. I love the killer tomato. He is so funny. Nice. <sighs> oh, oh, got him. That is a massive enemy. I love it. I love it Gorgeous. too. So much detail in him. <gasps> ah, smoosh. You can't, you can't get away from No, him. you really have to dodge him. Yeah, like run away. Yeah. Because if he's hit, he does bounce back. <gasps> ah, backwards! God damn it, I'm losing so many <gasps> lives. Yay! Can you, do you go back? No. Uh, now you have to get the weapon. This is totally different. And a heart, thank you. Oh my god. I know. I need to. More, more, more hearts. Where are they? <laughs> Weapon's gone. It would be funny if you, if, oh! Because I used one. Yeah. If they're like, you got greedy, smush. <laughs> smush. No more hearts. No more hearts for you. 
Corners are dangerous. Yeah, that is for sure. Mm. So you need to go back. Oh, I can't yeah. remember what's back here. Uh, just killer tomato. Oh, <gasps> just one. Yeah, and then you smoosh oh, that. Oh, it opens. It opens then, the door. That's what it is. Um, but it's way back, right, to where the water is? Where I just showed. No, oh no, no. no. I don't think there's bat any backtracking except mm -hmm. for these couple screens. Not the yeah. water, the, the the path with the water that's blocked. Oh, Do you remember that yeah, last yeah, yeah. time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it it might be that. Yeah, but I mean, if that door isn't open, then yeah, I'm you gonna check to go this far. door first. Shoot him. No, no well, I guess I could. Because there's, there's a refill, which I should go back for anyway. There you go. It might be the other way. Smaller could be harder to. Hit. Yeah, I think bigger is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the it is size is the water. fine. He is difficult though, but a boss should be difficult, mm -hmm. right? Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be easy. How many di times did I die? Once, twice. I mean, I got better. <laughs> Jesus, that's not where I want to die on. Oh my um, god. Oh, Terrible. It is hard Two the timing there? when you're climbing too. I almost died there. Uh, there's the, a roof the there. The tedious screen. Yeah, there's a roof. Unseen roof. Smack that head. Smack that back. Smack, smack. While you're waiting, smack, smack, smack. <laughs> smack, 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 smack. Ah! Scary. Oh, oh the fish. that fishes. But he's going with you, so At it's least. not too bad. You just have to wait a second before and going. And follow him, kind of. Yeah. Don't get too anxious. Yeah. Screw up your timing. It's quite a mean-looking fish. He's, he's got some teeth to him. He'll bite you. Don't go there. Nope. Water kills the ninja. Oh. For some reason. Oh, yeah, you have he's, to go all the way back. He's afraid there, of yeah. water. It's pretty fast. So much. Another hallmark of VHZC games backtracking. So much backtracking. Got it. There you go. And then you now go it's open. So this used to be the end of the beta. Yes. The, the last time we played. So this is all new from here on out. Ooh, nice I mean a lot skull of heads. Flaming skull heads. Flaming head. skull heads. Oh, triple. Oh, but there's a rest in between. So yeah, that's, that's not too that's bad. Fine. As long as you, you have to be very careful. Stay in between. There's yeah. not much room for that ninja. Beautiful skull heads. I like them. Flaming skulls. Oh, there's a spring. It's oh, probably to get back up. You probably have to go back. Backtrack. I think I'm going to fall. Yeah, and then go to the left. And go to the left, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Might as well do this first. And then... Ah! I know you have to jump over that. <laughs> it looks... Ugh, nope. Oh, oh. what? <gasps> Sneaky. Oh. You know, you can't go back, though. Or maybe you have to open it. Oh, you get, you get, you get your treasure. Nope, nice. I just... Hack the matrix. Did you? Yep. Bug crossbow. No. Uh, no, get the get. I can't do anything. No, get 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 the treasure. Get the get the treasure. You can't go. I can't go anywhere. <gasps> oh no, bug. I hack the matrix. I can't slide there. I can't jump over there. Oh no. How did you do that? Uh, maybe I can get out of here somehow. Can you die? No. I can't die either. I wonder where it would reappear if I died. I've not managed to do that yet, says Crossbow. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Well. You have to start over. Can you Can shoot you, something? No? Is there a button to die? No, he didn't program that. No. Maybe select? Nope. Pause? Nope. Can you shoot? I can. Sure. No, but you can't shoot the wall. Or... Boo! Boo! <laughs> I get another go. Mm -hmm. I'll lose less lives on the uh, Avaspa. Avasp? What was it? The Wasp. The wasp. Rage reset. Uh -huh. A little bit of rage. Oh, well. It wasn't my fault, though. VH said so he just left, too. He's oh, like, no. I'll be right back. And he missed He missed the James hack and the... VH said so what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> you saw it? Yeah. Do you see him get trapped in there? I got trapped. <laughs> I think you guys can feed the cats again. Mm. I think, yeah. 
anyone feels so inclined. <gasps> oh my god, I almost died. Waste another life on that. I always forget. Because I'm so concentrated on the, um, mm -hmm. the spikes. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, Smitty B. Redeem tree time. Hasn't... Oh, dang. Oh, it's not going off. Did it make the noise? I don't know if it or made the it noise. was it quiet? Was it too quiet? Was it quiet? It did go off. Mm. Well, it went off. I had it turned down quite a bit. Did it's you? It's tree time. Yum, 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 What's yum. Fun? How come we can't hear it? Oh. Oh, because the computer was way down. There we go. It's we can't hear it, but it's tree time. Yum, 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 yum. yum. <laughs> <laughs> now we can hear it. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yum, 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 yums. There was this YouTube I channel that okay, we you watched. Did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a Korean uh, channel, and she had like 10 cats. Tons of cats. And when she fed them, she went, yum, 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 yum. Yeah. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yeah? You gonna hit the bell? Are you gonna hit the bell? Are you gonna hit the bell? Put the bell further out, maybe. There. He's looking for treats. There you go. Good kitty. Good kitties. Well, one good kitty, one exploitative kitty. Yeah. <laughs> one manipulative kitty. Well, they're all manipulative. Yeah, good job. That's two hits. I would have died if I were in the corner there. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my goodness, you, you're with it today. This street time, eh? Ah, oh no. Ah. I don't want to die on this one. No, you want to get him every time. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Jesus, die! There's more here if you hit the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, I died again. It's so hard. He always goes to the corner almost. Almost always. Is there a pattern? Tis bigness. <laughs> there there he goes go. in the corner. There you go. Good kitty. Oh, there we go. It's only like four or five hits, so it's not too bad. In the exact same position as yep. last time. Yeah, that's the block. Atari's on it. <laughs> and open. And then trapes all the way back. And then you have to go underground. Solve all that. And then you have to go all the way back again. Oh my god. Threw that fish once, twice, three times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a lot a lot of dodging fish. Okay, don't die on this stupid part. Two times again. Oh my god, terrible. Is there max lives? But it's nine, probably. Uh no, it's in double digits at the bottom. Oh, that's true. He does have double double digits. So you must be able to at least make ten. Or that would just be mean. Yes, like, no, like max nine. nine. No, no, not more than nine. <laughs> Fish? Come on. Someone was saying you can stay ahead of it, too, but I think it's much safer to let it go ahead. No, thanks. You kind of go at the same speed, so. Just, just to be safe, it's it, it takes, like, a couple seconds just to wait for it. I mean, oh, if... Night Guy has double digits on the lives too, but you can only get eight. Interesting. What? Weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're not going down the water? No, you can't. Oh, you can't yet. Oh, that's right. Uh, he doesn't have a helmet. Oh, <laughs> he can't go right. diving. <laughs> he needs a helmet if he's going to go in the water. Which I'm guessing there might be water. Yeah, somewhere. Find that guy because of his short throw. Very fast. Yeah. So. Back to here again. Okay, don't go, don't jump up through that Well, thing. you're not supposed to be able to get through it yet, so. No. 
So I'm not even supposed to go there. No, I mean, you just see that it's there and then you can't go further. So you probably don't even need to do that. No, you probably so. have to bounce over to the other side. Yeah. Ooh, there's a big jump. Yeah. I wanted to go down because if you jump on it and then go... I think it's more much, controlled. It's way more controlled. More, oh, yeah. this is, yep. Bats. You can shoot them, can't you? Do they go right at you? What happens if you jump? Do they... You can slide under the first one and jump over ah, the second, yes. I'm guessing. Yep, that's the one. <gasps> it's like Shades of Iran. Is the other game. Mm -hmm. So, Buzzsaw. I, I did think of Flock of Seagulls when you said that. Just very briefly. Not the country. When you said Ooh, Shades of that? Iran, and I was like... What is that? Is it a treasure chest, or is that... That looks like something that will kill you. Weirdness. Can you shoot it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. You got a heart. It had oh. a hidden heart. Nice. Okay. Nice. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> oh, you can hit your head on these. Bonk, bonk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump background. over them, though. <laughs> no, though. I that's bet you'd flame. go zzz. <laughs> Okay. So it goes dit, 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 dit. Are those off time? Oh, they are. So annoying. No. No, yeah, they're not they, changing. They, they do have different frequencies. No, but they, they're not changing. They have different frequencies, yes, so they, they change. So you have to... Ah! Recycling sprays. Ah. Environmental friendly. Does it go all the way? Ah! Jump it. Yeah, does it come back? It does. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah, there's two of them! <laughs> there you go. It's oh my not God. that bad. It's just rather terrifying. Ugh, same pattern. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh my God! You don't even have time to think on those ones. <laughs> just have to, uh, uh, uh. But you can reset, which is which is nice. Which is good. Oh, this isn't too bad. It's very slow. Very slow. Uh. Oh, oh! It's boss time. What is this dude? Oh, he slams on you. What do I do? Jump on him? Shoot him? Nope. Oh shoot my him. God! Do I shoot him? Yeah. Oh, I do. But I have a limited number of them. <gasps> don't. Can you hit him when he goes up or something? I don't know. You're going to run out. <gasps> oh, you oh, get more. Thank oh, thank God. goodness. Oh. oh, he gotcha. Oh, he hates that. Is He's he that? mean. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my other thing worked. Yeah, it showed up right at the beginning of the show. Oh, too. did it? Yeah, yeah, it is kind of coming up there. Nice. So that works. Not bad other than terrifying, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty terrifying. Recycling sprites, environmentally friendly <laughs> programming. Huh. Okay. All right. That is, there was a Boss comment. Two? There was a comment they found in the too forums. Hard? Uh, or one too hard? One person found the first one too hard, and one person found the second one too hard. Mm. I can't remember who was who. I found that guy easier because I killed him on the first try. I think you found his pattern dying. really quick, quick. I did. Yeah. Um... I think because you're hitting the button to get the bullet across, and so it takes longer. I think the first guy takes longer. Takes longer, and there's more more chance of getting hit because it takes I think because it takes longer, longer yeah. So Crossbow thought the first boss was too hard, mm. and the difficulty of the two following is too easy. I didn't. I don't think that guy's too easy. Mm. I mean, he's, he's easy. I defeated him without knowing anything about him going yeah. in. The first boss is definitely hard like you should ramp up in a time. game right? it takes a bit of time in a, I, I, in a video game but, it should get harder and harder yeah right? but did you find him it, the the even the wasp i i mean you still passed him pretty easily oh you can spam the shurikens oh, oh okay smart okay and um gambler said the first boss was easy for him mm. and the second boss was hard to beat I don't agree. <laughs> I think the first boss is very tough. Yeah. Um, and the second boss was pretty easy to figure out. I don't think either were too crazy. Not, not were too they? crazy though. No. No. I, I think they're they're doable. Not out of the ordinary. They're both doable. Yeah. Yep. I got my shurikens back. Okay. Oh. What's going on here? Just back and forth. Okay. Can you duck? No. I think you have to run over. Ah. Nope. Jesus. Nope. Sliced stupid, in half. Stupid test Ugh. to do 
And then you have to... No, you can't stay there. Oh, yeah, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> it's on a track. Boop. A door is so open and dodge. All the way back. Careful. Careful. All the way back. Yeah. All the way back. It's not that far back. Well, that's actually. to get to the treasure. Ah! Ah! What did you do? <laughs> accidentally jumped up. Oh, nice another heart. Life. Another heart. Yeah. Oh, nice. Crossbow. Can I get another one? <laughs> nope. Nope. Trying no to more. cheese the system. Hey, if it's there. I still it's... feel like those should go smush if, you're, if you keep trying too much. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm like, nope, you're not getting another one. This is for you, O'Brien. <laughs> ah. Can you duck it in the middle? Oh, you, Can you duck have it? to. Yes, you do. Yeah, Maybe. it looks like you should. Yep. Yeah, you don't have enough time to jump over. It's tricking you. Okay, so I have to jump and then duck. Jump and duck. He's definitely pulling in Iran for, for that. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Immediate panic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, they're so hard. Jump off the screen? No, you can't really jump faster than you can run, can you? <sighs> oh, poor thing. More oh. hearts. More hearts, please. Ah! Duck! <laughs> Spikes below an impassable <laughs> floor with saw blades. Saw blades. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. It's, it's, it's challenging. Yeah. Okay, same thing. Whereas I like to say 90s CD changers. <laughs> you what? know you know those those vertical CD players oh. where, where the CD would spin and you would yep. see it spin? That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, sometimes they would they would shift and So okay. did the door down Oh god. <gasps> Didn't expect that. So did the door down here open? I think so. Yeah, I bet I it think did. so. Oh there's something Oh up. it did there too what? That's is where that I where came. you came in yeah, okay it's a ladder Never mind. so that's what i did <gasps> and you're stuck again now. oh my god if i was stuck again <laughs> i'm like why did you do that i think he blocks the whole vertical yeah that kind of makes sense yeah um that's funny but you can't get back down that's the problem mm -hmm. this is much safer jumping up there Maybe there should just be a whole column there instead. Yeah, just the whole thing. Or yeah. just make it so you can't jump. Yeah. yeah, true enough. Love the game. I'm playing it right now on the emulator. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. It is a great game. So now there's two. Oh, it's still two. Okay. Yeah. Two. 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 You have found the strength gem. Ooh. Oop. Slide. 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 <laughs> Sure. So what does the, the so strength nervous. gem do? I don't know. Doesn't I'll give me any more out. hearts. Can I, can you swim? No. No, I don't. Oh, think. can you open the path to the other one? It must be. It makes you go so high when you get up top. I know, it's it great. gives you an extra little boost. I love the platforms. Mm. Ah. <sighs> okay, three lives. Oh, I've got a little, little strength, strength shield there. Oh yeah. Can't go there. Nope. Can I lift up my helicopter? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, smash plants. Okay, backtrack and once again. Get to meet Mr. Fish again. Mm. See if he's smiling this time. He's still upset about something. That water is so good. Mm -hmm. Animation is so awesome. And all of the graphics are so good. Hi, Kat. He's happy. That fish looks crazy. Damn it. Why do I keep doing that? I forget about the fish and I like totally concentrate on the spikes every time. Fish is mad. Pixel. Pixel. Pixel cat. It's like what? Come here. I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> Pixel is very wary. I don't want love right now. He's like. So nope. that's still pushed. Those are 
still going. You didn't have to duck. I thought maybe you would have to. Duck. Ha ha. <laughs> Kill that killer Squish. tail. Squish. <gasps> sure can. Oh, and a heart. heart! Hallelujah. Woo! Oh. Get that heart. Get that heart. What? Oh, I can, can push, push the it? block. Okay. Nice. Is there a point of pushing it that way? No, oh, push it either way. I mean, I Watch those spikes, though, whatever yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm not going to go hit there. Don't those spikes. That'll get me an extra heart up here. Oh, no. up here. Maybe there's one on the other side. Extra heart up here. No. Damn it. New level. No more recycling. <laughs> no more recycling. Okay. Do you have space in between? Do you have to run both of them, possibly? Uh, yep, you can do it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I want below? the top or below? Well, below, you can just go right through. Yeah, but there might... Oh, no, oh, you can't. Oh, no, you can't. I have to run immediately. Oh, okay. Shoot it? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. It's probably going to be a dead end. Yep. Oh, it's a heart. I'll uh, we'll take that. Seven. Hi. Hi. Come and play with your friends. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! Mm. There we go. That's fine. We're not a shurikens. Ah! There Immediately, my face. Hi. Okay. So, do you think those disappear? Those blocks down there? The blocks? Is he going to be a stuffed animal? I hope so. It's pretty cute. The blocks. I bet they disappear. They'll kill you if you jump on them? I'll need to license the anti-crossbow spikes for my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spikes were first introduced in Night Guy and were called the CB anti-CB spikes. You cannot jump over there. What? You don't think I can? I don't think Make you it can. All the way? You'll, you'll just get hit by spikes. Yeah. I think I can. Oh, maybe. I know. I think this is deliberate. Deliberate. Oh, look at you. I just can make it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Why is that there? Oh. oh, so you can get back up top. Because you want me to mm. go back. Because those are going to open. Yep. Yep. I can see it now. Backtracking. Mm. Wait, this looks like... Familiar. Very familiar, but not quite the same. Hi. Oh, it's the boss. Oh, it's a girl. Donkey Kong. Oh, you have to jump up and. Are Throw you safe up. there? Yeah, you're pretty. Oh, oh, it's random. Random or patterned? No, patterned. Well, you're safe here, right? So I'll just wait for this platform and then. Oh. oh <gasps> damn Oops. it. I guess not. Oops. There you go. Okay. I don't think I'll go to that far one. Oh, that's easy. You think? Easy. Oh, just slow. Yeah. Well, you have to time it right, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm covered in cats right now. <laughs> covered in cats. Yeah. Someone's very happy. You got lots of treats. Is your belly full? Yes. Full of treats. Running out of... Ah! Oh, got some more. Oh, yeah, it's kind of too easy, but my son wanted a DK-like level. Oh. I like it. I like it. It's super cute. I think if they, if he threw them and they randomly landed at a, at different distances, then, like, could be, could be a short one, but it would have to have an indicator of how far it's going to go. It has a bit of a feel of a game and watch, doesn't it? Like Oh uh, yeah. Very like with the game platforms that come on and off and Super game and watch. Maybe I can spam him. Yeah, you can try. Ah. Oh, nice. Didn't get to spam him. Yay. I'm out. I need more. Oh, I didn't get a refill. <laughs> oh. But that was a cannon at no first. No refills anywhere? No. No, I guess you don't need it. The floating spiky balls. Spiky balls in the sky. Remember the spamming for the next boss. Crossbow is giving you hints. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, there's my shurikens. <gasps> oh, 
I thought I thought it was empty in the bottom. There are was, spikes on the side, yeah. though. Bling, 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 bling. I have ten. It only gave me five when I was with the monkey. Oh god. Really? Oh, nice. Can you shoot him? It looks like an evil version of the. Well, it looks like the plant from. Uh, yeah. Shooting uh, fireballs. So it only goes straight up. Just at different different rates. Can you shoot it? No. It's all over the place. You have to do mm, when they're very find, close together. Find close together. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, very colorful bombs. So he only goes there. It, it, yeah, so you're safe in the side. So you're only... Ooh, ooh. that's close. But he doesn't go quite that far. Rainbow bombs. Wow. So I have to jump. 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 Yeah, okay. Oh, this is not good. Not too bad, but... Oh, hello, snake in the pet. I don't think I want to use my... No? Shurikens for this. You got ten. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, another one. But don't have the danger this time. <laughs> Good. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Are they dropping bombs? No. <gasps> oh, come on. Just have to... Move quick. Oof, dodgy. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, can you climb on it? Ah! Like Mario. <laughs> da, da, da. Can I smack it to turn it around? <laughs> and crawl, out, crawl on the other side? Smack. That'd be awesome. Awesome. Oh, nice. Up and down. Yeah, okay, that is good. so cool. Wow. Oh, oh damn it. Damn death it. by... I don't spideys. know what. Yeah, purple yeah, spiders. Yeah, spiders. Oh, God. Fangy. Oh. Oh, it's my. It's the pinball. He's got to have a pinball. It's a crazy tomato. tomato. <laughs> a pong. Tomato pong. Okay, let's go. Love the lattice. Let's yeah, I love lattice it's on amazing. games like this. Amazing. So, that's so cool. And, and the... The 3D effect of the shine just at the right spot. Yes. Yeah. Look at those knives blow. Very threatening. Mm hmm. Lattice is done. Where's my hearts? Give me my hearts. Hearts! <laughs> Any hearts hidden in, the, hidden in the lattice? Okay. What's coming up? Oh, more of this. Just go for it. Oh, boy. Okay. How far down mm -hmm. does that go? You're safe there. And you're I don't think you're safe anywhere. I think you want to crawl and, and dodge. Not safe. Yeah, you want to dodge. Yeah. And then go for it. You can probably go straight across. Yeah, I think you probably can. What are those things? Orbs with blades Spiky on the side? Spiky bladey orbs? At least you're safe all over the place. Mm-hmm. Haha, <laughs> need some splatters of blood on the spikes there, I think. <laughs> it is perilous Yeah, violent. that would be good, yeah. Or a few dead ninjas along the ah. way. <laughs> Impaled ninjas. Oh, I jumped way too early. Oh, my. Oh, God. It's, yeah. Ah, Crossbow ah, with sand. Ah. Span, span, span. Dodge, dodge. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. oh. Thank you, Crossbow. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course, you're not safe. It's perilous here. Yeah. That, that, that's a good boss. Yeah. It needs to be, it needs to be harder. Well, like, uh, like tons of hits. Mm. Like if you're just hitting him once at a time, then yeah, that'd take a long time. But, um, and a demo. Did we miss a lot of fireworks, stuff? Fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> did we miss anything? Some hearts, maybe? <laughs> I think we got a lot of hearts, so. Do, 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 do. Try to keep it family friendly. <laughs> No, the alpha ninja guy was oh, red. Oh, but it, when he died, it was too gory. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome additions. Yeah. <laughs> first boss is good, but too hard for the first boss. Yeah. If you want to ramp them up, the first boss, the first boss is the hardest, for sure. I think so. He just takes more time compared to the other yeah. ones. I yeah. guess you could spam him too. With... No, because you can hit oh, one bullet at a time. Right. That's why it takes longer. The other ones you can kind of spam. The rest bit. just needs tweaking a bit to make them more challenging. Oh, it looks yes, so good, true. though. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's so good. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Mm -hmm. Congratulations again, VHZC. Yes. Uh, so he's up to 60 levels now. 
So he has wow. set his goals for a hundred levels. Nice. Um, just expect four skijo. <laughs> um, so he has forty more levels to do, which is astounding a number of levels. Mm. Um, and I look forward to playing it again um, when he's added those extra levels. And I'll definitely be better at it. I mean, oh. I made it to the end on my second, third try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Third, third try. Mm. Yeah. Awesome, hundred percent, super cool. Thank you, VHZC, for continuing to make awesome games. So good, it looks so good. Uh, the first boss could be made easier if it doesn't go above the line. Yes, that's true. So it's just a matter of dodging the attacks while moving to each side instead of worrying about the timing mm -hmm. as well. Um, and also, you can make it if you want to make him easier. Make his bouncing so it never goes right to the corner, or so you can duck in the corners. So if you, you want to make him hide, easier. If you want to hide, yeah. 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 If you want to keep him the same, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, too. Yeah. yeah. Because mm. there's very hard parts in this game. There's also very easy parts. So it's it's a big, big, big mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, back to main screen. Turn on. Um, great games today. Mm hmm Ethereum 2600. Really cool. It's a fun, fun game. Fun game. I mean, I like the Time The whole tie-in so. with the concept is... Yeah, with is, the NFTs. kind of interesting. I'm curious to see who buys it, how it does. Like, yeah. the whole thing... Going forward, what is, happens with is, it? Is, you know, it's all very sort of speculative and... Yeah, it's and, a test. It's, and it's, new and probably things, things are a little overvalued, but it's still kind of an interesting thing. Like... I prefer yeah. to make the others harder than make the wasp easier. Yeah, I, I like the wasp agree. the way it is, to be honest. He's yeah. great. I got him down to only two deaths on my behalf. Yeah. And I think I could do a little bit better. Yeah, I like the wasp a lot. The others being harder is it's fine, fine since you always got to load up on the hearts after each. Yes, yes. exactly. If exactly. you give a good amount of hearts after yeah. as a reward, yeah. then it's all then good. Then you're good, yeah. How are the levels stored? Bitmaps, tiles, commands? Draw a vine from X1 to Y1. Y1. Huh, interesting, yeah. Mm. I have no idea mm. how 7,800 games are made. I have to mm. look into that. I think there's like two, like you can draw backgrounds and then you have sprites and they're separate. For the 7,800. For the 7,800. I think that's how it is. Is yeah. that is that how it works? And you have different resolutions for the backgrounds and then your sprites are like done separately. Like mm. there's 320 and 160. Thank you, Dan. Dan gives a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. So we played Ethereum. Yep, awesome. It's a fun game on its own. Mm -hmm. Even if he never sells it, it doesn't do anything with the NFTs. Mm. You guys are going to love it. Mm -hmm. And I believe he said to me that he's going to just release it as well later. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I, I, I'm I not certain on that. So you just have to wait. Maybe mm. he'll make a post about it in the Atari Age forums. Cool. Um, or you have to buy it. Either way, it's yeah. a fun game. Um, then we looked at Mr. Do, Pingo, and uh, Kickman. Mr. Do, I look forward to that. Pingo as well. Um, Kickman, I find, is really simple concept, but I haven't played it very much. Mm. I remember playing it a bit on the C64 and going, eh, man, whatever. Yeah, um, it's cute, though. I'd really cute. like to, to give that one a shot when it, if, if it gets a full... Um a full mm. game, you know? That that one looks like fun. MK Smith and Smitty B disagree on what I said. <laughs> Pretty much yes. Okay. Or no, he's answering nostalgic. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, Smitty B says, for the 7800, everything is an object. Okay. And there's no difference between Four sprites back. and background. Like, it's nice. just all the same. Hmm. Yeah. It's just a matter of the order in which things are drawn and whether the graphics are direct or, or indirect. indirect. Mm. Mm. Right from a tile map. Instead of full rooms, I define fragments and reuse them, them plotting at the start of the level for which for cycles if I need it. Mm -hmm. Smitty B is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. So it's all just one big thing. There's no there's no sprites. There's nothing. It's just it's just graphics. You just put graphics on the screen. Mm -hmm. hmm. Um, yeah, Pengo. It looks like he's gonna work on that one first, and uh, that looks like a lot of fun. 
I like it. I like the look of it. Pushing around ice and yeah. smashing people. And, and, and I mean, playing all of them. Lining there's... up things. There's a little yeah. bit of puzzle. Yeah. There's a puzzle element to it and action. And yeah, I like balance. that. I like I like games that balance those kind of two genres. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's Kickman. Um, I played a bit of the 2600 prototype today and yesterday. Mm. So I got a, a feel for it a bit more. Mm. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It's very challenging, mm -hmm. actually, when your stack is high and they're dropping and you have to move your have tall move. stack over really quick. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And Ninja Sky, Perilous Island. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, beautiful, yeah. fun to play, so fun to look fun. at. The artwork is amazing. Just looking at it and seeing, discovering each new level and, yeah. and how. It has, it has a lot of character, like the, yeah. the, the, the your little ninja and all the, all the, uh, all the bosses, weird fish with ugly faces that come <laughs> at you with crooked smiles. Yeah. Like all of it is is so awesome. Yeah. Um. So I've started preparing for the Atari Homebrew Awards. I can't believe <laughs> you're already doing that, eight, but I guess the eighth month. I actually have to start ordering the the trophies. Yeah, because you have to do so it well much. in advance. Yeah, because yeah, I have to design them, figure out. Not not order them yet, but figure out how many I need. Yeah. Because I've started reaching out for links, mm. uh, entries. Okay. For this year, and trying to find somebody to head up that department for links because nice. I don't play links. Oh, Atari links. Okay, you're adding that in, yeah. Um, but I'd like to add it in because they do have enough homebrew each year. Yeah. To make a category. Cool. Um, which would be really cool. Yeah. Um, so that would be twenty six hundred. Um, 7800, 5200 52 slash 8-bit, 5200 slash 8-bit, because there's like two 5200 games every year, mm -hmm. made by one person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, then uh, Lynx as cool. well. Yep. Um, that pretty much covers all the 8-bit uh, Ataris. Mm -hmm. There's only ST, but that's like totally different realm I know mm. nothing about. Um, Jaguar. Jaguar as well, yeah. Um, I'd have to know, I'd have to look at how many Jaguar games are Come released out, each year, and I don't think there's that many. Yeah. Well, you'll have is to there check even it out. ten? Like, is there even five? <laughs> because that, there that, were... That changes things Like, the ones bit. that were released on Atari Age Day, there was like, what was there? It's like four, and one of them wasn't a new game. It was a re-release. I think, or maybe two of them were re-releases. So mm -hmm. it's like three came out that last year or this year. That's not enough to make a category. There has to be like 10. Mm -hmm. I think I usually, I want to set the bar at least 10. So if, if you want 5,200 to be broken out, there needs to be like 10, 5,200 games mm -hmm. and not, uh, not just XE conversions. It has to be like new original games or ports from like totally different system. But anyway, <laughs> boring you guys, nobody cares. Because uh, it's many months away. Phaser Cat's working on it. <laughs> I'm working on more. Excellent. So, uh, coming up, currently Ryan would be willing to do the 5200 stuff anyway. Yep, Ryan is the guy for the guy? 52. Yeah, there yep. you go. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> Winning. Winning, I yeah. see. Win Amazing. Winning for the 5200. I wonder yeah. if everybody's tried developing new games for hard arcade hardware. Yeah. That's a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. I have. I've not looked into it, but I've also never heard of that because it's not like it's impossible to make it because there's emulators that run certain boards. But arcades. Right? Yeah. Because some arcades where you would stick in, like, wasn't, what's the gaming system that was in the arcades? Neo Geo. Neo Geo. Yeah. So is that... But obviously, arcades ran off different boards and different systems all the time. Yeah, they they put out a different board for the game, right? For a game, some game, some boards can run multiple games, yeah. and they would replace it because it's cheaper. Cheaper, yeah, and that they, would make sense. And they figured of that out because it would be cheaper for the yeah the, for producing games. Yeah, and for the arcades. Yeah, because well. they wouldn't need a whole brand new box or unit. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And people. People made bootlegs and hacks, remember, mm. of arcade games. That's yeah, true. So that's kind of in that realm of homebrew. Yeah, interesting. But they they usually made hacks and not a totally, completely original game. Mm. But it wouldn't be out of the question to make 
a game for a certain board. Yeah. And you'd be able to run it under MAME. And technically, if you, like, burnt it or whatever, put it on a chip that could be inserted yeah. into that old board, which that would be very difficult to mm -hmm. to market. But there'd be people out there who owned those arcade systems. Does anyone develop for Neo Geo? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. do. I don't know how big the... The community, the, is. the community is but there are neo geo sd carts they're really expensive yeah um where you can store games and load them onto because it essentially so, takes the game off the sd and loads it onto the neo geo card yeah and they're huge it's and it takes a long time do would would you, you be able to use that with an actual arcade unit though if it had a neo geo installed yep. so yep. you could you could you know develop for a whole arcade unit yeah for neo geo because it's the same it's the same thing it's a different cartridge yes but they make both um it's the SD same hardware cards. where is that the idea like the hardware's kind of the same it's all yeah but the, the carts are different if it's home yeah 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 the carts are different size different pins yeah. i believe so they i guess they're like so you can't just buy one and put it in put your in machine your, your, yeah it's like it's like uh rental versus purchasing dvds back yeah. in the day it's like yeah the rental version is 200 dollars. the yeah. purchase version is 20. Yeah. yeah right the hardware is the same and the cart program is basically the same just the carts are different mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so, so it's a different form factor for the um mvs versus the aes mm. and now i've totally forgot which one's the home and which one's <laughs> the arcade but That's one of okay. them's one yeah uh yeah that's cool though it I is. can see that that's kind of neat to be able to like program. So that'd be the arcade. easiest one. Yeah. AES is home, MBS is arcade. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh yeah, Capcom. Uh. Also had there were a number of arcade that had m easier like like cartridge based mm. ones. Yeah. Um, Nintendo had an arcade system mm. where they would port their home games, but they weren't on cartridges. They were like on chips chip oh, boards okay like, so you'd, you'd like squish it in chip in yeah yeah, yeah so you yeah. couldn't take a mm. nes cartridge and tear it apart and put it in the arcade no it yeah. was something completely different yeah oh yeah cassette tapes as well really yeah they would load them off of cassette tapes and then it would load onto the hardware oh i totally forgot about that one yeah play cool. choice play, play choice, choice 10 cab cabinets yes yeah. for the for the uh arcade uh nintendo and it would be wow. a time limit version so it was more like, it was less of an arcade game and more of a trial before you buy. Try before you buy. Okay. It's like, oh, here's 10 titles. They're all the new games coming out. And you put a quarter in and you get three minutes and you can switch games. This was just on a video somebody released, actually. So oh, that's really? why I know all this yeah, yeah. off the top of my head. And you'd have three yeah. minutes and you can go, oh, I'm, I don't like that game. Switch to Excite Bike. It's like, oh, Excite Bike's cool. I'm going to go to the store next door and buy Excite Bike. Yeah. Because I just tried it for a quarter. Oh. Which was a brilliant marketing scheme. Because it is, actually. It transitions people from arcade to home arcade, right? Because there weren't yeah. demos back then. There wasn't YouTube. No. Like demo discs no. that you could load in your whatever. Um, there wasn't YouTube so demo you can get discs. reviews. All you could do is read um like the nintendo N book N N what is it nintendo power or nintendo whatever power is. and yeah. go and nintendo's like every game's awesome mm -hmm. every game we release is awesome <laughs> it's like why would they ever criticize their own games mm. anyway way off track um no it's just cool it's a neat idea yep uh we're we don't have any huge things coming up well we do but i haven't scheduled it yet okay. but it should be coming soon we're going to be playing Vitoko's 8-bit games okay. that he entered into 10-line contests. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. I mentioned that to you. To me, yes. Um, So Vitoko's an 8-bit programmer, and he's in here a lot. I yeah. don't know if he's here today. He was here today, yeah. Was he? Okay, yeah. he might still be here. Let's see if he's still here. Yeah, yeah. he's still here. Um, in theory. <laughs> in, th in theory. <laughs> yeah. His computer's here. Yeah. Um, And uh, he is arranging... Uh, um, an ATR of yeah. all his games. And we're going to power through like 24 games. Okay. Some of them are paddle games. Most of them are joystick games. Gotcha. And we're just going to go boom, boom, boom. It's quick decisions. Play them. They're all 10 lines. Simple, simple games. 
Amazing what he can make in 10 lines. That's cool. Oh my God. 35 games. 35 games. That's a lot of games. Power through it. <laughs> that sounds it's like not, fun. And it's not 10 lines per se. It's not 10 commands. Okay. It's like a line is X long. Yeah. And it's like four. Cram as much as you can into four it. 4X kind of equals 1 to 10 colon. Yeah. Um, yeah. If X equals 3 colon, then, you know, it's like that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, where are you aware like yes it's gonna be a bunch of mini games mm. really they are mini games mm. it's like shoot this thing oh you died start over mm. it's like really really simple but it's amazing the complexity you can get out of a 10 line program that's very cool yeah um so i don't know what i'm gonna schedule that for uh, i think he's pretty close to converting them all to ntsc because mm. uh, most of them were pal or some of them were pal uh, we want them to look decent yeah um, there you go Vitoka. you now have 35 games you can turn into nfcs <laughs> that's right <laughs> oh nfts nfts, NFTs. <laughs> you can pay uh yeah there you go 120 us dollars uh, each to... and see what they go for or pack them all together when... as one oh, as your yeah. 35 maybe pack and yeah. uh make an nft yeah <laughs> it was done <laughs> you should try Vitoko's the children mm. oh, good suggestions thank you is that in the pack maybe um NTSC is ready. Yay. Okay, so we can uh, schedule it. What about the Vectrix? The Vec the special Vectrix Vectrix um, cart. Cart it's coming. We have it's, to figure it's on that order. out. Let's see where it is. It is the Pytrex, Pytrex. which is ordered. I think I talked about it last show. So. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It basically it allows you to run arcade vector games on your Vectrex because it's a separate. Raspberry oh, Pi so Zero awesome. so in a awesome. cartridge. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And I ordered one, so it's on its way. Um, they have Star Wars. They have Asteroids. Mm. Uh, and it looks unbelievable because it just says, draw this line. Mm. It does all the calculating, has all the RAM, all mm. the storage. And then it just goes, Bleh! play this music, draw this line. That's all it does to mm. the Vectrex. It's very much like um, some of these cartridges with the ARM yes processors yeah. in them that add more capability mm -hmm. so it does a lot of the heavy lifting and then it just outputs what it needs to do mm -hmm. uh, the basics i have a you have a vec fever oh my god wow yeah that vec fevers were awesome but they were like there was like five really of them released not enough for them for <laughs> for everyone to grab one, and i, I guess. wanted to buy one but yeah. it's like they were never on sale yeah. Ha! The card is insanely more powerful than the console. <laughs> yes. Yes. About 200, so not yeah. enough. There's a lot of Vectrex enthusiasts. Yes. It is in uh, Victoria right now. Victoria, Australia. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're coming from Australia. Oh, that's going to take a, that's a little bit of a distance to travel. Yeah, I kind of gave up on the whole Vec fever thing. Yeah. Because th they just didn't produce enough of them, and mm. they, they had a lot of coolness. And this is just a lot more accessible because mm. it's like Raspberry Pi Zero. Mm. Everybody has those. You can buy as many as you want. Um, it just makes it a lot easier. In case Smith, that's, that's where, where I live. live. <laughs> well, go for buy a yeah. Pie We're trucks. gonna have to go visit you, MK Smith, because I have a feeling it would take less time for us to fly there than it will for this to get to us. But anyway, the one cool thing <laughs> about the Vec Fever that it it had a game on it mm. that you could connect up two Vectrexes. <sighs> by their joystick this. by their second joystick <gasps> ports and you could play head-to-head -head vectrex games because joystick one was your j control and joystick port two connected to other joystick port two no day in lockdown 210 <laughs> what no you can order it you don't have to go there i know but i said we have to go mail. there <laughs> oh we have to go there no yeah, no no day in lockdown oh, oh yeah 10 days yikes one day yeah how's australia doing for uh pokes yeah sorry no visitors yeah i understand yeah <laughs> uh, uh, no 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 are you looking at I'm looking numbers? at how many people that have got poked in australia that's a big thing yeah because that's oh that's the world australia. interesting is that by percentage or per it's depending you per can, 100 people doses per 100 people but that doesn't tell you the total population uh, this will people fully vaccinated there we go in Australia it is oh my god it all blanked out stupid thing no just pull back You're oh, clicking on go. everything United Arab Emirates is doing well mm. Uruguay good Not on good. Uruguay 20% ooh 
Come on. Where's Canada? It's not even on that list. Oh, we never make the Canada, list. I know. They don't care about us. Oh, you have to click it on. Yeah. Canada. We're at 65. Ooh, we're doing pretty good. We're just below Uruguay. So, but a lot of countries just don't have access to it. So, yeah. But Uruguay. Delta out of control. Really... <laughs> yeah. 32 with both, 53 with both. Okay. Yeah, you're getting there. Yeah, you're, you're getting, getting there. there. Anyway, off track. Um, we're going to be playing Plumluck and Plumluck DX. Plumluck DX is just being worked on. Um, hopefully he'll get another version out because the yeah. first version was like just super. Oh, good for you, MK yep. Smith. We're both double jabbed too. Yep. Looking Although forward. we both have different vaccinations, different vaccines. Oh, the t not between us. No. We have the exact same, but no. the two that we got are different. Are different. Yeah. So that could cause problems apparently. Not, not with us, but with Working as fast places. as I can. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I saw that you did add some stuff uh, recently, but have not updated the binary yet. So that's awesome. It's it's the plumbing game where you connect mm. one thing to another and mm. then the water goes. Yeah. So he's got it's his old cool. version and then he's got his new version he's working on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There is a cat again. He is oh, back. Oh, for the end of the show. Atari's like, I love this treat time. On. Um, I love it. Do you love it? Next Friday we're playing Bonk, uh, which is a Qbert. So we might I might push the seventy eight hundred games to next Friday. Like okay. Plumlock and Bonk. With the Darcy? Is With he... Darcy. Yeah. And we'll do the 8-bit on Tuesday, maybe. Okay. Unless there's some big Thanks. release that somebody comes to me because we had two yeah. in a row. Plumlock is looking awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening right now. And uh, I'm starting to ramp up. Yep, working on the... Home rewards, so I'll be messaging people who Excellent. were participating last year and looking for new participants this year. Okay. Um, now that I have a lot more tie-ins with the 7800 community, yeah, I, will, you I know a lot a of people that yeah. will want to participate. And Excellent. in the 8-bit, uh, we, since we've yes. been playing 8-bit games, people now know the show. Yeah. And they'll be more um, willing to participate in everything. And so that'll be very cool. Cool. I need to check my Uno and the 8-bit to see how I have the ATRs loaded up. Yes, police crossbow. That would be great. Because he says the ATRs can load on this because I was having trouble oh, with okay. that. These stickers. People don't use the right glue. <laughs> Same with the dragonfly. Yeah, it's peeling off. Bad right? glue. I have some decent glue. Oh, I've got some, some Hardcore. industrial glue. Yeah. It's yeah. like something 77. Oh. can't remember. Yeah. Oh, and next year is the... Atari 2600's 40th anniversary. Wow. 40th? 1977. 45th. 45th, sorry. 45th. 45th. Yes. So that'll be a big one. Next year we'll have to do something special for that. All right. <laughs> but that's in September. We'll have a big cake. That's in September. In September of next year? Yeah. So in, in like a full year? Yes. Okay. Um, so I plan well ahead, as you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll play through all the original games. Yeah. Smitty B. There we go. Marathon, Marathon every, every original release. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. A full marathon of certain games. Because there's like hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of yeah. games. There's okay. a, just a shovel fulls of crap games. Right? Well, you Shovelware. Could, you could look very specifically at the first year or first two years or like pick a, a well, we'll do range it in order, of time actually we'll do it in order yeah yeah let's we'll start with 77 and work our way up till we get sick of it yeah and we'll just <laughs> we'll like we'll do like atari games activision and magic all the like really well known first ones. The big, party titles yeah yeah no that makes sense non non crap yeah VHSD, you definitely need a Dragonfly. It's so good. It's so <laughs> compatible with everything. Everything you throw at it, it just plays. Yeah. I've never had a problem with the Dragonfly. Mm. Um, I need a new case and a Dragonfly level starting peeling pre earlier this week. Is bad. Mm. Um, yes, Smitty, we will marathon every original release. I like that idea, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for fun. showing off the uh, proof of concepts and NFTs and VHZCs tonight. Good night, and thanks for the stream. You're very yes. welcome. And thanks for everybody else for thanks watching. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Nostalgia. Poland mail's not shipping to Chile, sadly. Oh, that no. sucks. That's why you don't have it. 
Mm. I have more labels, but they would just peel. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching and chatting, Crossbow, VHZC. Thank you for your game. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Smitty B. Nostalgic. Uh, nostalgic. Uh, Fitoko. Oh, oh, Fitoko. Revenge. Revenge. Thank you, Revenge, yes. for sticking through the whole show and Absolutely. your amazing, fun new game and your experiment. I, I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out, actually. Yeah. yeah. One way or the other. <laughs> Um, and seeing, you know, the reaction from everyone as well. Yes. Um, and to see if anybody figures out what the first game was that was released with NFT. Because yeah. everybody says there was one, but they never name it. <laughs> so if you don't name it, we're going to assume this one's the one. Yep. Um, Andy Cat, 28. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Phaser Cat Games. Lovely. Uh, MK Smith. Carl G. I Carl don't know if G. You Carl. I don't know. Uh, lots of names. Lots of names. And for people who tested out the cat feeding time, thank you so much. Is it active again? Nope. Nine, Nine minutes. minutes. No, nope, they don't it's need more. It's not going to happen. No. Nope. <laughs> you have to give them less. You're going to get less next time, Kitty. Uh, yep, yeah. Less. Too much. Too, too much. much. He's so happy though. Like, yeah. look at this cat. You got two. He's like, I'm just going to hang out here because I feel more treats are coming. I think more treats. Yeah, more treats. Um, so have a good weekend. We'll be back on Tuesday, maybe yeah. with Vitoko's games. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe not. See what happens. Just keep watching the schedule. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Yay. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Have Bye. a good weekend. Good night. Good morning. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.